worse. I'm seeing it. I'm uh, I like. I like um, uh, Dracula XXX Blood Rhombus, but I'm not sure if I'm married to it. <laughs> Add 3D into the end of it. Oh, can't disagree with that. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's perfect, yeah. <laughs> and I found the perfect image to include with it. <laughs> there we go, I have posted. As far as I'm concerned, we're ready to go. Oh, wait. Versus Blombus. <laughs> Noted, hateful, or coward, that got a well. He's gonna... Dream. Regret it. Journey back to 1792. For some reason. Oh, <laughs> um, but baby, I can tell. Yeah, we can do nothing. Goggle Bob blog. Goggle Bob's a lot of gog. Bob log the log that gog. Did Bob gog blow blow? Good. Good. What's 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 what's? Goggle Bob blow gun. Goggle Bob log. No, oh, like it not worth the effort. Oh, <laughs> love, love speaking mom. of which, while we're saying the name of the stream or whatever, I looked really? it up. Our oh, first. I don't believe you. Our first official World of Final Fantasy stream, which is when I would say this for real started, was. Wait, let me tell you for certain. Well, the Castlevania is still loading. It was September 8th. 2020. So it oh, be hey. September 5th, 2023. <clears throat> I'm going to claim this is our three year anniversary. Wow, awesome! Yay! Three years. Somebody and put still fireworks nowhere to go but chat. down. We will, we, will, but down. <laughs> we will never not be even worse. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, no, I'm, I'm willing to say this is the, the three year anniversary. <laughs> Silliest the idea is, I've always wanted a weird ROM hack that gives Richter the abilities he has in this and Rondo. I don't disagree with you. <laughs> I was kind of disappointed that when I started playing cool. Rondo for the first time and couldn't do this. You can do the backflip, though. Yeah, and that's the backflip right. is integral. Okay. Those guys with the yeah, sword. Yeah, there's definitely right, so a Fan, will you strike me as the sort of person who would know this? Um. Yeah. Um. Fucking, I know how to think, I swear. No, I don't, it's a fucking lie. Um, Symphony of Night has had multiple re-releases at this point, right. yes? And it, one of them was a fully 3D remake, right? Or was that just Rondo? It's just Rondo. Just Rondo. You could... Okay, just... Uh, okay. This version of Castlevania Symphony of the Night was packed in with Rondo. Uh... And then, like, this retranslated version keeps showing back up. So no die monster, you don't belong in this world. Yeah, this is the version that was essentially the PSP, right? Yeah, this was the version that came with the Dracula X Chronicles on PSP. Okay. Because so I remember playing the um, uh, Xbox version, and it had and a very the nice... PlayStation version, but minus the CG cutscenes, because it was made at a time when the limits on what was allowed uh, on the size of Xbox Live Arcade games was, were extremely small. Yeah. It was like, um, um uh, it was like... It was like 100 megs or something, right? Something. Originally, it was 50 megs. They had to break that, uh, like, that, that number became untenable very quickly. And they ended up having <laughs> to... Reasons. I don't remember what this number is, but it was one of the first ones that was allowed to break the 50 megabyte limit. Because it was just impossible to fit it otherwise. Um, but it also still couldn't include the song, if memory serves. That, I think, might have been some sort of licensing issue, as well as the fact that I Am The Wind just... People didn't like I Am The Wind. Nor notably, it also did not have the CG cutscenes. Those were that cut was out. Awesome. I remember there was some cut content that was like, we're even still shrinking it. 
Yeah, this one, uh, part of the reason it keeps showing back up is that there's some stuff that was cut from the English version that was restored in this, and it adds Maria, though not the same Maria as the Saturn version. Yeah. Oh, so it's a new Maria. That's interesting. Yeah, different Maria. Um, well, because the Saturn version basically made up her moveset whole cloth. This one is a lot closer to kind of like Rondo Maria. Yeah, I think they might have interpolated some more sprites for this version as well, uh, because she has, like, very bad walk animation in the second version. <laughs> She's not supposed to be seen walking that much. Um, Gogglebub seems to be shooting out. Nope, didn't manage it. Uh, you, Alucard starts with I love that, like, you're having your fight inside of a, um, uh, inside of a whirlpool here. Alucard and starts by a with better stats. I mean the the, um, uh, the washing machine brand. Alucard starts with better stats if you manage to win this fight without taking damage. So if you're really good at the game, the game becomes easier. I mean, the numbers don't really mean much. It's mostly an Easter egg. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is kind of cute. Well, I still did it without getting help. Those are Rick's yeah, there's a... on the uh, at the top. <laughs> Yeah. Rick here. <laughs> Listen, words are hard. <laughs> I am, uh... No, nothing. It's just blank. Yeah. My brain is just making dial-up modem sounds. I have COVID. <laughs> no, we know that. <laughs> Which is ironic because we kind of started doing the streaming because of COVID. <laughs> yeah, about time one of us got it, right? <laughs> I'd really ra I, I feel like it isn't. I feel like we could have been happier without I'm it. I'm still so mad about yeah. this because, like, Florida, for one, is hell on earth. But two, my wife and I have traveled. We've been places. We just got back from a trip. And on all those trips, we were actually careful and, like, you know, followed all, you know, good, safe travel guidelines and stuff. And then she got sick because her boss made her go to a company event. I mean, that seems to be, that, will be... Like, it, it, I feel like a lot of people, in a manner of speaking, don't dwell on it, but, like, the number one way that, like, at least uh, locally that I know people have gotten COVID, it's either from work, something encouraged by work, or your kids went to school. <laughs> I mean, Jackass is be insisting that you need to be there in person so that they can feel like they do things. Yeah. yeah. It's been an ongoing problem. At least in my favor, my boss immediately said, all right, stay home this week. Don't even, I know we're like doing the three day Good. thing. All of, them, uh, all of them just write them a nasty grab when they, when they whine about it. You know, Thanks, boss. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather you not infect the entire yeah, rest of the company. <laughs> Castlevania. Assholevania. Assholevania. <laughs> now loaded. I very much what have we all been playing? <laughs> I love... Oh, I've been playing Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. I like it very much. Yeah, I was looking at that, and I was like, uh, I want to play that, but I'm not quite in the right position to be blowing $40 on a win, so yeah, I'll wait I until next say, but I do have, like, a backlog at the moment, and I know that's not going to be, like, the first thing I play. <laughs> So it probably like, would be the first thing I played if I bought it, but it's one of those, like, uh, I made some big spends to it this month, so I should probably hang back. <laughs> big spends. Big Although, <laughs> speaking of things that I will immediately play and bought, Samba de Amigo. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Is there a real big fish song in this one? <laughs> um, I haven't noticed, but Sonic Adventures Escape from the City is in it. Okay, well, that makes up for it regardless. <laughs> and you get to dance with Sonic, it's great. Running around at the speed of sound. And, like, but DLC is the first Sonic Adventures on it. Whatever it's called. Oh, oh, not Open Your Heart? Open uh, Your Heart, then. Yeah, I would have expected to open your heart, because that's the one where you fight perfect chaos. Yes, yeah, open your heart, but that that's paid DLC, but it comes with City Escape. I mean, that's worth it. <laughs> what is your business here? But I, I didn't notice any real big fish songs, but there are a couple of ones, songs that I recognize. <laughs> and I definitely got a lot of Check your steam. 
Asshole. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Step aside, old man. <laughs> That's never good. <laughs> That's right, I sent you bad rats! Again! <laughs> it shouldn't have even been possible! I broke the internet itself to send you bad rats. I hacked into Steam's headquarters just to make it so I could send you bad rats repeatedly. <laughs> Your entire yeah, Steam haven't... library will be re will be slowly replaced by bad rats. <laughs> don't seem to be getting any... Oh, you received a gift, there we go. <laughs> it's back. It's cyberpunk. Thank you, B. Aww. Time to clear. Time to clear room on the deck. <laughs> I'm feeling generous. You want it, Jamie? <laughs> no, thank you. I don't got a computer that could run it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's actually very much. I don't know, like how well it runs, but like apparently it runs super well on basically any old piece of shit. Uh, I'd imagine it's it very. Probably it's very much for going for the Dreamcast aesthetic, aesthetic, and it totally nails it. By the way, like I love yeah, that. It's probably it. optimized for the Switch, so. Yeah, apparently it runs super well on the strip switch as well, so that's nice. Yeah. Hey, that's where I'm definitely going to aim for, it personally. The switch is like my prime gaming system. I understand that oh, Steam could do oh, yeah, something same. like that, but... Oh, man. I, I, I play things on the Steam Deck just because it's like, well, it's a convenient thing that I have access to. It is my nearest neighbor to the Switch. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I, if I had a Steam Deck, it would just be the thing I play when I don't want to play the Switch. Oh, this because, doesn't require any space at all. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very small. It's not a um, it's not a um, a huge download. It's 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 very nice. Uh, no, it's I'm sure I've already told you about like how much I love the um uh, whole visual style and everything, but it really, really does nail it on this genuine. Yeah, no, I've been I've like. been craving this, so I appreciate it. Uh was I gonna say something about it? Uh I was gonna make a remark that uh, size compared to Starfield. Starfield. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> all modern games. So Imagine! Every time I read anything about Starfield, it fills me with glee, because it's all of the, um, uh, because no matter, um, uh, no matter, like, what position is being taken, there is somebody that I have absolutely no problem getting my hatering on for. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like, oh, it lets you prove pronouns. Good! Fuck you, you stupid fucking transphobic asshole! Oh, it's um, full of glitches. Good! I like it when Bethesda fans suffer. <laughs> oh, it's full of glitches. What, have you never played a Bethesda game before, you fucking idiot? Every single time, there's always something for me. <laughs> I was about to say, how is there surprise? <laughs> Fun fact about Symphony of the Night. The video game we're occasionally looking at... Uh, all the menus in this game were not the menus it was meant to ship with. Really? All of them? They, are play they were meant to be placeholder. Wait, so, like, is that true in, like, the PlayStation version as well, or...? Yeah. Yeah, they just stuck with it. I mean, yeah, they didn't really like, change that's, them. That's why they yeah, they never not. changed them. They're but they're very utilitarian. Menus. They're very utilitarian menus that are full of, like, weird, harsh right angles. And I, I always thought they kind really of were vaguely aesthetic. more Final Fantasy than, uh... Um, yeah, it'd be like video. watching next time you bring up the menus. Yeah, they no, super don't fit the game's aesthetic because they were placeholder. They were not meant to be the final ones, but they never got replaced. Yeah, I don't think they look terrible or anything. But... They're not horrible. There's yeah, a reason they were able to ship with them, but it's very much they were supposed to be placeholder. Also, Alucard's run cycle is the most luxurious run cycle that any character had ever had to that point. I, one of my favorite Tumblr like threads of all time was like, um, uh, like, like this, this random like you know video game factoids website, and it had like a um, uh, a, a very nice gif of Alucard running, and like everybody was responding, "I've never seen this before in my life." And then someone posted the backdash, and we're like, "Okay, there it is." Why would you post this obviously fake first one? <laughs> Disgusting. Tragic. So he here watched Castlevania Netflix, or stole it. I did. It's also no. Oh, I watched it. Inspired. Well, watching doesn't imply that you didn't <laughs> steal it. <laughs> yeah, no, stealing it. Property. Stealing it is, in many ways, the better way to do it because it's Netflix. Like <laughs> Netflix. Um, what did you think of it, Genie? 
once you got past the misogyny, it was somewhat kind of decent. <laughs> that's a lot to. That's a that's a big caveat right there. Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah, I know. It's just one of those like when you start with that sentence, it's always like that's a guarded. guarded that's phrase. a super like loaded phrase. Uh, I think Sifa Cy is that her name? The the the. Cypher, yeah. Cypher, yeah. Okay. Still not Fucking up her pronunciation. Um, yeah, she's, uh, yeah, she's, she's, she's great. She's fantastic. Uh, I watched the first two seasons and was like, well, that certainly was a Castlevania anime. Uh, I liked the first season a lot. I felt the second season uh, was was um, uh, a testament to cowardice because they just shoved all the people that I was there to watch in a basement for the entire season. <laughs> yeah. They should have had it be a had the entire season be a flashback while they got bored in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I described it on Talking Time as they are all stuck in the college library studying for their midterms. <laughs> oh, I love the Breakfast Club. Wait, no, I don't. <laughs> 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 we all tolerate the Breakfast Club. We all this accept in reference to. <laughs> we all accept that the Breakfast Club the Breakfast is Club a, a, a part Media. of our cultural language. That doesn't mean we like it. <laughs> you mean and then I watched Club exactly. Language. Then I watched exactly the first episode of um, uh, season three, and said, "Wait a second, there's no Dracula in this." <laughs> and then never turned it on. Where's my Dracula? <laughs> Where's my Dracula? <laughs> Should have at least been a haunted castle. <laughs> yeah, no, no haunted castle. <laughs> no Dracula. Yeah, haunted like, castle uh, is such a weird fucking game. Just a bunch of um, uh, just a oh, bunch yeah. of like um uh, I guess I guess you'd call it a polycule of lesbian vampires <laughs> yeah. and um uh, yeah, this lady that they were beating with um uh, hammers. <laughs> and I was like, yep. yeah, I'm okay not watching this. <laughs> which one was it, Hector or Isaac? I forget which one. I think it was Isaac. It was Hector, I Isaac. Believe. Hector's, I think Hector's the good boy? I can't remember. It's been a minute. Yeah, Hector's uh, the pet. I wouldn't call either of them good boys. He was the one yeah. whose, like, thing was he could make dead things alive things. And, um, uh... And he was, like, weird about when it. I, when I describe one of them as the good boy, uh... I'm referring to the fact that, like, one of them is the protagonist of Castlevania Curse of Darkness and is, like, the good one. Whereas the villain is the other one. <laughs> Which they definitely did so much to make Isaac more interesting than he is in Curse of Darkness. Did they? I yeah. don't know, because yeah. I didn't see it. <laughs> they, I, without question, it, they they made choices, but I can at least say they were interesting choices. <laughs> I actually like Curse of Darkness, especially the parts where you sit in your chair. I just remember them as, one was Lance Hedrickson, who was awesome, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. And the other one was the simp for the vampire girl. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, simp, the simp is the only way to describe him. Uh, I, I posted in general a picture of the beer that I am currently having. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. I'm currently yep. drinking a Juice Force IPA, but my phone is in the, the other room on the charger, so you do not get a photo of it. I'm sorry. You just have to imagine it. Y'all have to imagine it. But it's got a, um, a pilot skull on the, um, a, on the um, a can. So that makes it very nice. This is what happens. This is what happens when you feed a stranger scrambled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. But yeah, uh, season three and three and four of Castlevania anime went surprisingly deep into the whole infinite corridor thing. I get yeah, it, the I get it, the imp impetus. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> it, it's weird that they went into that because obviously, like, I feel like a lot of Curse of Darkness and also to a lesser extent that stupid fighting game were setting up the sort of judgment. Yeah, judgment. We're <laughs> setting up the stupid, um, like Castlevania time travel theory, which I'm guessing was something that Iga was doing for the express purpose yeah. of, like, maybe being able to, like, redo some bits, but maintain the timeline or whatever. But yeah. point being is that, like... <laughs> Mostly was meant to just tie into 1999. Right, yeah, like... I, yeah, it, I guess was, that. it was definitely leading somewhere, was the point. And right, like, um, uh, one I do have an observation over. regarding the menus. Um, I will say that the one that looks the most like a developer placeholder graphic is the little, like, dopey dude with just, like, 
Like he's like a stick man head. Uh, like like to, to indicate that nothing's equipped to the face. <laughs> that one, every time I see it, I'm like, ah, they made that in ten seconds of MS Paint and never replaced it. That's cute. <laughs> we'll fix this later. We'll fix it later. Later never Tricked came. Out the most because everything else in the game has gorgeous art. <laughs> Much of it ripped directly from Rondo of Blood, but... That guy was full of blood. Wait, you say much of it, but so much, like... Mostly Rondo... the enemy sprites. Yeah, Rondo of Blood is definitely the smaller game by comparison. Like, oh, definitely. just by volume, this game has to have more than was in Rondo. This isn't an empty potato gimmick. Also, things bleed so much. When I was first playing this on the PlayStation, I 100% thought that was, like, a side effect of, oh, Castlevania is finally not on the, uh, Nintendo system Nintendo! <laughs> Castlevania, blood of the blood. <laughs> Castlevania, blood boys! <laughs> Castlevania, blah, blah, blah! Oh, yeah, you have I, one I of the weird mix believe sub weapons <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah. um, uh... Which was kind that's... of in Simon's Quest. That Iga, or whoever did, I must really have in the darkness, of. was like just pounding on his desk, screaming, MORE BLOOD! <laughs> Teeth! <laughs> he was co- Iga was co-director on this one. Hey, who was the other director? Uh, a guy who went on to become like a Konami bigwig immediately after, and I believe actually partway through development, which is part of where he got the co-director. Uh, credit for, I forget what his name is, Hagihata, something like that. Uh, but, yeah, like a, a guy who moved into the executive position and was no longer, like, directly working on games. Think, uh, like, for, for Final Fantasy nerds, think like what ended up happening with Yoshinori Kitase. I don't Of course. Know. That's why I said for Final Fantasy nerds. <laughs> okay, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> I love that Dracula just has a room full of grandfather clocks, like, Wait, maybe he thinks he's gonna put them human? somewhere else in the castle later, but right now they're all in this hallway. I've come to destroy this like, also you know. different times. Likewise, I'm Maria. He's got different time and zones in his castle. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're a better oh, Maria. Also, he does all that time travel Perhaps bullshit, I'll and you probably, like, then. just woke up Farewell. after, like, a thousand years of slumber, or what the fuck ever? Uh, 20 like years? Like a hundred. Like hundred? Okay, yeah. That, so, that so he probably like just seven, right? It's however long it took for Maria to go from like little girl to teenager, or whatever old she's supposed to be. I assumed, and like granted, like, like you could draw the exact same anime character and say they're anywhere between fourteen and twenty-eight, and I just would like accept it without question. You could say thirty-five. I'd well, I mean, it Maria question. in Rondo of Blood is like. The distinct joke is that she's a cute little girl. Like she's supposed. Like, to oh, yeah, I know that. Yeah, like 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 the whole thing is that Dracula's like, am I seriously getting jobbed by a nine year old? Yes, exactly. <laughs> but like here, uh, if I had to guess, or like just pull an age out of a hat, I would say twenty four. Does that seem reasonable? <laughs> yeah, it seems high. Probably no, the high given the timeline. I believe she's supposed to be like. 12 or so in in Rondo, and supposed to be like 4 or 5 years later. So like 17? She doesn't look 17. No, no, she doesn't. <laughs> I mean, granted, neither does uh, Joseph Joestar, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> the treachery of images. No, uh, fucking, <laughs> fucking Jotaro. I'm, uh, Kujo. Jotaro. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> I, think, I think Joseph is like 20 in part 2? I can't remember. <laughs> Jotaro in part three is the is the living image of as a forty year old teen. <laughs> <laughs> I have been a teenager for forty years. God, so much. Okay, I there think, we go. I think the fun thing about part four is that Josuke starts looking like you know a, 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 like a like a forty year old Jotaro teenager. as forty year old teen. <laughs> yeah, and then like by the end he looks like you know. He looks like a very strong 16. The and also, style, so does Jotaro. So the outside evolves significantly in that chapter. 
Also, so does Jotaro, despite now being in his 30s. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, Wikipedia says this takes place four years after Rondo. Four yeah, years? Right. Okay, yeah. Yes. It's, it's weird. That would put her at 16. It's weird. That, that is, is weird, uh, yeah. Also, particularly uh, for the fact that there seems to be a thing going on with those. <laughs> Don't think about it. Yeah, um, let's, all just, let's all just ignore that. Also, I've, I found the drill tweet that I was referencing, so it's, it's time for that time of the week. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 46... welcome to the even worse drill reading. <laughs> As a 46-year-old teen, I would like to apologize to all du old dudes on behalf of the, uh, the teen generation for decades of gangsterism and nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> gangsterism. Yeah, that was a great line. I, um, earlier today, just searched through in my drill for girls and retweeted everything that came up. <laughs> That's gonna be just an infinite well. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's just, uh, scroll down some of the highlights here. Uh, let me see. Oh, time to pull out the book. <laughs> <laughs> Really got the drill like, time. I can't go out tonight. I have a pimple, and then they will get a face tattoo of Baloo from the Jungle Book. Okay, I saw you were posting the drill pencils again today. I love drill pencils. Drill pencils. I need to make more of those like dog shit edits. They're the worst thing in the universe, but like they um, serve a very important purpose to me. Beat what? Well, I well, chew on my. While you're home right now, I think what you should be doing is making a drill sprite comic out of Mega Man sprites. I'm not fucking Bob and George. Yeah. Fuck you. I chew on my Philly cheesesteak as I place a camera under the table to film women's feet. Clock.com, the standard for influence. <laughs> Paying women to ram me with their cars. Fail is it's real, I say. All girls have exactly one hundred thousand dollars. <throat> well, like each individually or to share. <laughs> you heard the you heard the man. <laughs> man, you are just full of blood. Considering that, like, you're a vampire but drinks blood, that guy knocked a lot of blood out of you. Intentionally spoken with an earshot of several Arby's girls. Ah, oh, fuck. My hands smell like steroids from using steroids all day. <laughs> it's up there with, uh, with, uh, my Entrapped Years tweets about, um, uh, about, like, am I grinding in Wendy's bathrooms? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm supposed to do something here. What is it I'm supposed to do? Graveyard Duck. <laughs> is it just stand? Oh, I'd like to apologize. I misspoke when I said that the one uh, Demon Master from Castlevania Animated Series was voiced by Lance Hedrickson. He was not. Oh. Mm, gotcha. Well, that's a shame. Does I don't know how we can overlook here? this, Jeannie. We were all, we were all really um, uh, hoping that he was voiced by Lance Hedrickson. Yeah. <laughs> Bob, that... I don't think anything's going to happen. I think something does happen. I think nothing will happen. <laughs> There's will stuff around here, but I don't think it's in this individual room. <laughs> Keep trying, Goggle Bob. I'm sure you'll get it eventually. Uh, Goggle, Bob, you. <laughs> Goggle Bob, give up on all your dreams because all of them are going to um, uh, all of them are going to fail. And guess what? Doing yeah. nothing works. <laughs> what? I'm so mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Maria is supposed to be sixteen. Yeah, that sounds right. Yep. Because she was 12 years old around the like the age they assign anybody in any video you drop game. Six, it you, drop six, you drop 16 because it's one of those things where it's like a high number for children, but still leaves them in that, like, close enough to adult for, like, high schoolers to identify with. But they get like, hit on by a Dracula. Oh god, don't do that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the, um, uh, that's That doesn't the, even uh, happen. You just made that shit up, and that <laughs> sucks. I'm pretty sure that's the premise of Twilight. <laughs> oh god, don't make me think about that. Moving on. I'm gonna make you think about that. You don't have to. I just did. 
<laughs> but moving on. Level up from where you are. Really <laughs> so this sucks, so we're moving on. <laughs> uh, Alucard's but, yeah. sparkle bar. <laughs> it's, it's one of those... He was just one... sparkly. He literally just pulsed. <laughs> it's one of those numbers yeah, that does. gets chosen because it's like high enough to like have some degree of independence, but low enough that like children can still identify with them. Right. High enough to like um a work in Arby's, but low enough that you still have to ask permission to pee. <laughs> yes. Oh man, I love uh, overly complicated door openings, especially this. That's one. not a door. <laughs> Whatever. A gateway? <laughs> a gateway to the mirror world. It's a seal. Oh, my controller just screamed. <laughs> I don't think that, like, any PlayStation game I've ever played has made good use of the, like, controller speaker. I'm trying to remember, but I feel like, like, I, I want to say some random, like, indie game did. Like, I want to say maybe Shovel Knight or something? I'm trying to remember. I didn't play that on PlayStation, so I did not I played that on every uh, system available. <laughs> um, That's like a I feel system. like, I feel like it this is. the best instance of, hey, there's some, uh, the controller can make noise, is by far um uh the um uh phone calls you get from sylvia and no more heroes yeah like that's the one good use of it that i've ever like seen where she just... it's a playstation game rather than yeah like where she just calls you up and is like hey fuck you <laughs> asshole trust your force and enter the garden of madness Who would have thought There's they would like have a long and fruitful Where, marriage. like, she does nothing but just talk shit about you the entire time. <laughs> and, like, on some level, I'm like, okay, it's Travis. So there's a very good chance that he could be into the whole, um, uh, be mean to me thing. <laughs> but at the same time, it's Travis. So it could just be that he has so little ego strength that he's just like, I bet if I let her, like, be mean to me for another hour, she'll totally fuck me. <laughs> Depends upon which game. By No More Heroes 2, he's developed an ego. Yeah. But no More Heroes 1, yeah, he doesn't really have No More Heroes one. 1, no, he, he has zero ego strength. <laughs> no More Heroes 1, he's just like, I bet if I'm, uh, I bet if I just, like, take this, like, blood force abuse, eventually it will get me laid somehow. <laughs> it somehow did, which is the weirder part. <laughs> I think that's more of a statement on the fact that Sylvia has terrible taste as well. She left Henry cool down for Travis, so... Pain soul of woof. <laughs> I can turn into a wolf. We're gonna pronounce it woof. Like the wolf man of Wolf County. Celebrated jumping that was, from Calaveras County? That one's for you, fanboy. You, um, uh, you listened to that podcast. I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> Also I am talking of, but the whole I am thing. talking about the um uh, I am talking about um uh, Big Feet, the new um uh, Sean Baby Robert Brockway uh Jason Pargan podcast <laughs> where they watch every single episode of Mountain Monsters. Mountain Monsters, which is a reality show about killing cryptids where they claim to have done so every episode and somehow never got any single uh piece of usable footage of doing so. <laughs> yeah, no, it's <laughs> Well, like as they said, they are not the um uh, the production crew of that um uh, of that series is not um uh, is not above uh, just fucking like buying a gorilla costume from Party City. <laughs> as you do. I'm not above that either, but I wouldn't really try to pretend that I was using that for the purposes of murdering a Wolfman or a Bigfoot. Look, you don't have to murder Wolfman. He's already dead inside. You don't have to, but they keep trying to. Like, peace was never an option to these people. I do love, uh, it's such a dumb little touch, but I do love the text flying out of the books as they burn. Like, that's, that's the kind of, like, super extra touch that, like, you didn't need to put into the game, but it just makes the game better. definitely a, a running thing with the thing of the night. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the big... I love the... 
<laughs> like, imagine having your, like, fucking chair perched that precariously over a giant hole in the ground. <laughs> I, I it's can the entire reason assume. the chair is there! Because he knew that hole was there and he just couldn't stand staring at it, so he put the chair on top of it. And then Alucard, like, slams into it from underneath. Yeah, but in a, in a 3D dimension, like, it doesn't matter. Like, your chair is just gonna be cool. It just looks scary because it's 2D. I don't know. I just believe that it stretches all across this fucking floor. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just an enormous, enormous, like, cavernous gap in the floor. All right. And well, I'm, like, yeah, I'm going to say just, something you know, that we're, we're, we're all really careful all about you. that. I mean, what? what if what if that's just the librarian shithole? <laughs> I mean, no, that's what, no, I that's that's what that's my brain awesome. immediately went, but <laughs> I was going to not say anything, try and be like, you know, a decent human Classy. being for once in my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. I always just liked how conspicuously 3D the books are. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's because like this is like this is like um uh that we're we're like way going way the fuck overboard with our 2D graphics, but it's on a PlayStation, so you have to do some 3D. You're not allowed to do no 3D. Yeah, that's so they cheating. very much reminded me of like the Mega Man X2 like FX effects. Oh, that's fucking 3D oh, yeah. head. He's a big 3D yeah. head. We spent, we bought like a really fancy ass chip that only is meant for making fucking wireframes, and it's making a big wireframe head. Gotta use we'll the wires for one boss. Cool. Use and the don't, wires bunch. Don't forget the sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the head is funnier. I like the head. When I punch books, they don't die. <laughs> Punch and pull letters come out. You're gonna beat the letters out of you. Rude. I don't know, are you a book? <laughs> you might be. I, 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 you, I hate books. You don't know my life. <laughs> Get autobiography up in here. Just, just, <laughs> just like... Just like grabbing all of my, uh, my closest friends by the collar and screaming, Are you a book? <laughs> you have to tell me if you're a book! It's the law. <laughs> Legally, you have to tell me if you are. Alright, um, when was the first release of this game? I want to say 98, something like that? 97. 97, okay, so technically. This does fit into our Metroid timeline because. That was uh, the idea. 2001, yes? Is this, is this, yeah. uh, is the Jewel Fist, like, um, like, way more powerful than anything else you it's can out get of depth. Like, in the game? Yes, that was why I used that weird little portal thing, elevator, to get that, because it is, it is definitely more <laughs> Fucking escalator to nowhere. He's fucking Fleeman. God Imagine damn it, there was a... So hard he exploded. That sucked. I don't have to imagine. There was a decent drop, and it got scrolled. You off. fucking did this to yourself! <laughs> also, you're why, about to why die. Why don't you have a weapon equipped? He does, it's a fist. <laughs> oh, you're gonna eat that turkey? I eat that turkey. Uh, speaking of, uh, speaking turkey. of extremely, uh, extra things, the funniest thing in this fucking entire game is the peanuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. The Peanuts is definitely, like, we had too much time on our hands, we should have been working on the menu. <laughs> are, are you versed in this, Pete? No, I don't. No, I'm not. What is Peanuts? So Peanuts are one of the many, like, most of the healing items are food of some sort. But of Peanuts are dumb, because you have to... <clears throat> he, when you use them, he pops them into the air, but if they hit the ground, he can't eat them. You have to, like... Toss them up in the air and hit them with his and like land them on his head in and order to get healed by them. The item literally says difficult to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the other I don't think I knew that. I don't think I ever tried to use the peanuts. I mean, they're yeah. they are in no way worth it. <laughs> yeah, they're just there because they're fun. <laughs> like many so items this, in this game. Is uh. Is there a... what is the way to play this on a modern system? Or the legitimate way to play this? I, I mean, I'm literally playing this on the PS4 slash PS5. 
Yeah, you can get it on PS4 okay. slash PS5. It's is part it, of has life. it been a PC release of this? Like, this no. isn't something you just grab on Steam, is it? No. That is so weird. Apparently there's an Android release, which is That is gross. Wild. <laughs> it's a really old Android release as well. Oh, wait, wait. If, the, if this is a PS4 version, is this the one with the new voice acting? Yeah, yeah, you missed it, but it's using the new translation. Quote-unquote new. Quote-unquote new. Quote-unquote new, that translation is now like 15 years old and the original was 25. Yeah, well, the 25 one is better. I said it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, no, I'm just saying that, like, calling it new is something of a misnomer at this stage. Newer. More recent. Hey, it's a beat. They're all marauding you. <laughs> I can't believe it's not on the Switch yet. <laughs> I was gonna say, it is kind of By funny all... that we have the Game Boy Advance collection on the Switch, but we don't have freaking Symphony of the Night. By all appearances, Sony, to some extent, assisted in and or paid for the existence of the PS4 collection, which is why it never showed up anywhere else. I don't remember... Remember if my copy is uh, um, in one of the boxes <clears> that I haven't unpacked yet, or in my parents' attic. Could send you I'd a rather... file that fell off the back of a truck. <laughs> 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 so I actually, I think I uh, what is it? <laughs> I when I um, the last time I played it, I played it on emulator, but then I I burned. I burned the ROM off of my legit CD, so I felt better about myself. <laughs> That's the proper use of emulation. That's literally, like, the know, best way to do it. And then you deleted it after 24 hours. <laughs> No, that's only if you get it from someone else's computer. Yeah, like, they tell you to delete it after 24 hours. So I, as a lad, as, like, age 11, wanted to try this fucked up samurai um, uh, NES ROM. And oh it said God, delete it after 24 hours. Right so I played it for, like, a couple of hours, and I deleted it. And the next day, I downloaded it again. <laughs> you beat the system, just like going to the library. <laughs> yeah, I beat the system. I was like, ah, <laughs> when the cops arrest me... For playing a terrible ROM hack bootleg, they will see. They'll be like, "Ah, oh, darn it! He downloaded it 24 hours ago." <laughs> He's in the clear. They're just waiting, and then they see you delete it, and they walk home disappointed. What was it from H Wood? I, I wish I way. knew when I was younger that getting in trouble is a fake idea. <laughs> Being in trouble is a fake idea. That's how I feel about so many things I've done in that vein. <laughs> Being in trouble in my household was not a big idea, it was a problem. Oh, it was just you need, like, an item that opens the blue door. Meanwhile, Maria already has that item. She came from the other door. This seems. This castle is a creature of chaos. This castle is a creature of chaos. With each rebirth, it takes a new form. Just shifts, it does that sometimes. Like, there had to be some explanation for why Castlevania is different every game. Yeah, I mean, that was the joke, was that, like, oh, this is her explaining why the layout is always different. See, my explanation was always just that the, um, uh, Dracula was addicted to, um, uh, home renovation shows. <laughs> and so he'd be like, oh, no, this is way better, and change it all up. There Turn out the entire East Wing! I'm gonna put on the Property Brothers! <laughs> there are some seldom-used rooms that I wish had shown up in more games, most notably the Treasure Room from 4. Yeah, that was that great. That was a neat one. What's the what's the chair room in the one Xbox game? Oh, Curse of Darkness. That's not in Castlevania proper, I don't think. Yeah, but, but you know, there's I a like there's the a, fucking... of a room full of office chairs. In Dracula's the chair castle. the chair room uh, populates with every chair in the game you've sat in. Uh, which there are some really <laughs> yeah, there are some really strange chairs. My personal favorite is the my personal favorite is the one that is a. Uh, like it's a swing set with one swing on it, and you can't actually swing, and it's just like him looking downward at the, <laughs> him looking down at the ground. So like, oh. so like, um, uh, like, like, like in a movie swing set. Like right for the movie, your child who's been forgotten after like going to the park. Also, I love watching the little uh, bones, the bone pillar. Yes, agree. The... That that was such hoping a great that you would animation. success. I was hoping that you would successfully manage to kill one of the bottom ones without killing the top ones. 
I had to. Yeah, I figured you were trying. <laughs> Yeah, for the record, like, Super Metroid, I'm not going to say I was doing a speed run, but I was kind of doing that as quickly as possible. I am moving at a leisurely pace today, because it's, there's it's, so it's, much just random crap in this game that, like, take a look. It's yeah, incorrect it's... to play Castlevania Symphony of the Night without luxuriating in all of the silly things they added to it. I mean, you speed gotta do the... is a bit of it, but, like, you know. Yeah, yeah but, I mean, we're that not speed running. Such a great, that is such a great, like, sword. It's like, hey... Heard you like swords, so I put some swords around your sword, so you can have more swords. <laughs> you gone to the confession? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Wait, is, is Alakard Catholic? <laughs> uh, Dracula seems to be. <laughs> I love the concept that Dracula loves putting cathedrals in his castle. I assume that this was here for his wife's sake. Uh, now, see, I think the opposite. I think he's just straight up like. Haha, <laughs> you think I'm afraid of crosses? Well, guess what? I have an entire room of crosses. I mean, if you throw one at his head, he does get hurt. <laughs> well, if you throw a lot of things at his head, he gets hurt. I'm just saying. <laughs> the sword is kicking your ass, by the way. Yeah, you're getting wrecked by this sword. I mean, I was dealing with it with a very short-range weapon, so... But I, I showed that sword who's boss. It's Fist. Fist is boss. Fist of the North Star? <laughs> I remember. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's You're how religion works. <laughs> The confessional has its own little, like, sad theme. Aww. So you're listening to this poor lady. What do you think yeah, she's confessing? I mean, she hung out at Dracula's castle, so can't be anything good. I'm trying to get good priest. Oh, there's yeah, there, there's is a there is a chance that the priest will not attempt to murder you. There we go. I don't want to see this. Rest your weary soul. Oh, is, is it like the color? Can you, can you tell immediately? Yeah, it's the color. Oh. By the way, Alucard has to confess. Bless I me, mean, Father, for I sinned. Alucard tends to feel pretty guilty about the whole being the son of Dracula thing. And having to kill his dad and all that stuff. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and the thing is, he's been, like, killing his dad for ages. <laughs> his responsibility. Because theirs is a hard lot. Remember when his dad got reincarnated as, like, a teenager with a shitty coat? And then the Alucard got no, the, the coat owns. <laughs> One, the, co the coat is awesome. And two, the, it's the teen inside the coat that's a huge dipshit. But, like, in a funny way. <laughs> I totally love, like, when he, um, uh, is, like, half Dracula, half, half, um, uh, half dumbass teen. And, like, he, so he spends, like, an entire, like, you can go back to, like, the starting area, and his, like, eyes are all red and everything. And his, like, childhood friend's trademark is, like, saying, Hey, Sona, you all right? You're looking kind of sick. And he's like, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> My actual <laughs> favorite the thing, Wendy. the actual best thing about Arya is, like, if you get all of the fucking souls in the game, and, like, his one, his one fucking, like, line that changes in the ending is just being like, Oh, I'm a lot cooler now. <laughs> You're like, I'm the shit. No, my my favorite legit. thing I maintain will always be the fact that you can get the sword in the stone and oh, Excalibur. Oh, that thing's the, that's like the funniest joke anyone has. Yeah, like, it's, <laughs> it's just it's a, a sword. It's a hammer-typed weapon. <laughs> With a rock. <laughs> this is the sort of a giant rock on the end. They made that a joke it? in the fucking Puss in Boots movie, too. Nice. Mm -hmm. It's a really Check strong out this joke. thing I got. Couldn't get it out of those rock, though. <laughs> it's a really strong joke. I respect reusing it. Yeah, I know. It's good. <laughs> it's great. I have to say, I did like how in uh, Aria of Sorrow, Alucard is, is or renamed himself Aricado. Yeah, Genya Aricado. Yeah. 
<laughs> no one will ever He'll find never me. never guess what. I mean, what he's got a going? fondness for shitty aliases. His name is Alucard. That is not the name he was born with. Yeah, well, if you were named Adrian, you'd do the same thing. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'll take Adrian over Alucard. Now you're gonna cut one of those ropes, Bob? Not, not if I can't kill this damn thing. <laughs> Stupid hunter. I mean, you're the one that's sucking ass at this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, talk about have you ever even punched a ghost before? Because most Beat ghosts have a total glass, uh, glass jaw. I have beaten the shit out of several ghosts in my time. And all of them are like, beat, please stop beating me up. And I'm like, haha, -ha, skeleton supremacy. Your lunch money's mine now, dipshit. These, these ropes don't seem to be cutting. <laughs> oh, wait, is it because I'm equipped with a wooden sword? Probably. <laughs> That'd be extremely <laughs> funny. <laughs> no. They're still not the only one. Back to back to my disc. I'm kind of surprised that didn't work. Thought it would. I'm honestly kind of surprised as well. Fanboy, what does he need to do to um, cut the rope? I don't. Think I don't recall that being a thing, but yeah, I, there's I a lot of things. Thing there's game. so much stuff in this game that I fully would have believed that it was just something I wasn't aware of. I thought <laughs> I, I I I was under the impression it was a thing, and that I was just you know. <laughs> Just not aware of it. Like, also, please said, appreciate the neutron bomb in <laughs> inventory. I just kind of picked one of those up. <laughs> yeah, they talk about, like, oh, the the big thing about the games in the future was that you got, like, weapons that were from the future. I was like, I was always dealing with crazy nonsense. You still never you still never got, like, a pistol until... Also, like, um, if I remember right, like, uh, Arya slash Donasaro in the future, and almost all of their weapons are just straight-up normal Castlevania they weapons. Do, they do 100% add pistols and shit into that. I did, uh, yeah, no, this is one of my favorites, because the and way... Can get a laser the firing gun. animation is just, like, him going bang, 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 bang. You're like, bro, I think you got problems. <laughs> <laughs> just for my just for my own amusement, I once fought Julius Belmont only using the pistol, and that takes for fucking ever. It's Belmont. Those guys are built Tonka Trust. They're built Those guys are built Tonka Tough. <laughs> Rip your was, grandma. I was shooting that man in the head with a pistol <laughs> for like seven what? solid minutes. But it was worth it because it was really funny to have done so. <laughs> Uh, I think um, uh, Julius mode in Aria of Sorrow is like one of, not Aria of Sorrow, Dawn of Sorrow, is one of my favorite like bonus modes ever in a video game because yeah. there's a lot the of The only one with like an actual it. plot. Yeah, like there's, there's, it is, there is a lot of effort put into that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's a lot of fun. And there was actually effort. supposed to be a fourth uh, character that you could switch to. That they yeah, you were supposed to be able to, there's text in the game for talking to Hammer when he joins your party. He never does. It's, it was yeah, the first was of many to... times they said, eh, Grant. <laughs> yeah, it was he was supposed to be the Grant and Nasty one, even though he's gigantic. <laughs> Well, he could just kill up. Oh, like, this you is know. like my favorite fucking thing in the like <laughs> them having this discussion. <laughs> the thought bubbles like, what am I thinking of when I think of a Belmont? She's, she's thinking of the Rondo of Blood Sprite, and he's thinking of a fucking NES sprite. Yeah, I was about to say eight bit forever. <laughs> also, I want to bring up the uh, the Curse of Darkness again, just for the notion of they did a separate take in the Japanese dub to have the Japanese voice actor say Trevor so for the weebs listening to the Japanese track in the English version would hear him say Trevor Belmont and not Ralph Belmont yeah but at That's that point in time they actually had to know really how impressive poorly chosen the name Ralph Belmont was Wait, so did he say both Ralph and Trevor yeah he says Ralph in the jet in the if you were playing the Japanese version with the Japanese dub he will say Ralph Belmont if you're playing the English version with the Japanese dub he dub he says Trevor Belmont <laughs> that is that is like beautiful attention to detail 
I love it. It. Is, it is a labor of love. There are many things that are wrong with Curse of Darkness, but I kind of love it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you can build up your own Pokemon. What's the uh, Castlevania... It's Castlevania Chronicles, right? Which one? Uh, okay, okay. So, like, back ages ago, when we did... When I'm... Uh, when that one guy did the um uh, did the box art like um a best of on time time, and mm -hmm. I um uh, and I infected it with all with my wickedness at every turn. Yeah. Um, uh, Blow got super mad at me for posting uh, the Metroid Zero Mission box when um uh, when we, when it was time to talk about like Metroid. He's like, mm -hmm. why are you doing that? They're not the same game. It's like a reimagining whatever. And he said yeah. that'd be like posting the Castlevania Chronicles box and talking about Castlevania. I already knew oh, Castlevania yeah. was on the list. So, of course, I already had the Castlevania Chronicles box. <laughs> yeah, there are like, there are like fucking dozens of things that are for technically remakes of Castlevania 1. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, man. So no, I just fine. replied, oh man, you're gonna hate what I have in store. <laughs> and for, um, uh... And when, when I finally got time to doing that box, I just quoted him, um, uh, saying, why are you posting this? Um, when it came for, for my description of the Castlevania Chronicles box. God, now, I'm trying to remember, now I'm trying to remember if, if anyone has the presence of mind to remind you that you should absolutely uh, have posted the mark, the like promo art for Haunted Castle, which is ridiculous looking. <laughs> I did uh, find uh, I did find one for a um, uh, Dracula killer on the ZX Spectrum, <laughs> oh, God. which is what Castlevania is called in like some vampire obscure, killer. Like, vampire killer, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, it is not the same game. It is not even remotely yeah. the same game. <laughs> but yeah, fucking, there's like I I love how shitty and weird. Uh, Haunted Castle is. It's the most, like, what on earth happened here, Castlevania? The cross <laughs> sub-weapon shoots lasers. Dracula, the final fight with Dracula is mostly him, like, appearing out of the wall as a giant head. Uh, like, there's... The, the weapon upgrade is, like, whip to flail to broadsword. That is great. There's, That's like, right. a section in stage three where you, like, walk into a room, and then, like, these horrible little mans, like, transport you to a field to fight them. They're all normal enemies. You kill them immediately, and then you transport right back. It's incredible. <laughs> it's a really weird game. One of the sub-weapons is bombs. Like a That's big cartoon cool. bomb. That's beautiful. <laughs> like, with a big wick and everything? Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> like, that um, game is not very good, but it's really funny. There you go. Um, Sometimes it's all you need. And it also has one of the most underrated tracks in the series. Um, speaking of, like, final Dracula fights, my favorite of all time forever remains Order of Ecclesia, the third DS one, right? That's Oh, yeah, that would be the third DS one. Oh, where, like, you're thinking um, of like, In the end, when you beat Dracula, he just stands up like he's 12 feet tall and just starts stomping on you. <laughs> yeah, Strut Dracula. Strajak, Swagula. Because <laughs> he's I got that always, swagger. I think uh, the, both Portrait of Ruin and Order of Ecclesia ha are really interesting games that have, like, some strange weaknesses, but I can't dislike them because one of them has Strat Dracula and the other has Dracula Death, like, tornado tag match. <laughs> the tag match is my favorite because... Oh, yeah, it, that's great. You get a... I mean, I don't know if it's distinctly said, but... You get the distinct impression Dracula and Death are both kind of like, why haven't we done this before? <laughs> like, this is working out okay. I like this. Because I think I think Charlotte like distinctly says like, there's no record of them ever doing this before. But they're just like, yeah, this is cool. We can work together. I liked uh, Portrait of Rune a lot. I think yeah, my really favorite good. part of it was. Jonathan. Um, <laughs> I think Charlotte. my favorite part of it was the um uh, the um uh, pyramid level, where it's like, That's oh right. yeah, we're just going to a pyramid. Why wouldn't we? Yeah, and it was actually shaped like a pyramid, which was cool. Yeah, no, it was. Like it's a, it's a no, dumb thing, to detail. but like a lot of times you see like this is the pyramid level, and it's just shaped like whatever the fuck they were gonna do anyway. 
Yeah. No, that wanna... was a game. That was a game that had a lot of charm, even if it was far from like you know the highest, the heights of the series. There were a lot of things in that game that made me go, "Yeah, that's pretty cool." <laughs> it was ambitious and unique, and you got to respect that. And it's yeah. also one of the games that tries to directly tie the notion of, okay, Bram Stoker's Dracula is loosely canon to Castlevania. Well, that was actually <laughs> yep. something I was going to bring up earlier. <clears throat> this is the game where, for the first time, Alucard gets the abilities to turn into Mist, Wolf, and Fat. Which, that's yeah. straight out of Bram Stoker, right? Yeah, those are he all straight in, up He can turn into a bat in... He can turn into a bat. Uh, Castlevania 3. But Mist and Wolf is... Like, Dracula didn't even do that in previous games, right? Yeah, there was never so... really, like, a point where he had called to either. <laughs> I would say he just sat in his throne room all day, he so... He could have! He didn't want to. <laughs> like, there was nothing indicating that he couldn't have, but yeah, like... I could Bloodlines that officially, like, brings in, like, okay... No, the Morrises are actually a branch family of the Belmonts, and that's Bellos. why Quincy Morris was able to kill Dracula in Bram Stoker's Dracula. <laughs> that is the kind of, like, absolutely needless uh, connection that makes him happy. Pre we'll presume AMJ. that the Bowie knife he used to do it was actually the dagger sub-weapon. <laughs> sure. <laughs> wow, that is that incredible. That is that is genuinely incredible. Anyways, good good choice playing a classic today. Is this like any um? Is this like uh? Is Rob Hack technically the correct term? This is nope, this, this is straight up original. This is straight up original. He's playing this default. This is the version. You know, the so version that was released on PS4. Yep. So you didn't meet. So you did uh, no lullaby. Um, a lull the lullaby is it added back in? Uh, technically, it is just whatever it was. Is. There are some. There's some additional content that was added back into the PSP version that this version is based off of. But oh, okay, uh, but is, is this running on? Is this on PS4, Duck Station, or PS5? PS5. Oh, okay. Doing it proper. If there's oh. one, if there's one game that I regret not hearing the music for, it's, it's this one. God, this is. I, 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 I hate the room, but no music. <laughs> I hear, I hear it in my mind. Do 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 do. Michael Bob is having to slowly wait for the fucking clock. Yeah. Oh. I have no These do those clocks like in that room? I I'm just noticing now because like I beat this game in like a weekend, but um, do these clocks say like a message at all or? No, not really. Ah, uh, I thought it would be like um, okay. They just have they just have the one clock that reacts to time, which okay. was a lot of work given the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to bring up about the the best uh, underutilized track in Castlevania from Haunted Castle is that I love that. The title was mistranslated for decades, but actually is a good title anyway, so it didn't occur to anyone. Haunted because... Castle, you mean? No, not Haunted Castle itself. One of the tracks in it. There is a track in it that very occasionally shows up in other games. It's, there's like echoes of it in Rondo of Blood called... Uh, more, in more modern translations, call it Crucifix Held Close. Uh, like holding a cross close to protect yourself, but that got muddied in translation for years as Cross Your Heart. Well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's still a pretty good name. Yeah, that yeah. was the thing. Like, no, one, it never occurred to most any English speaker that it had been mistranslated because the new, the mistranslated name sounds perfectly fine. I think I ended up um, when I played this game. I think I had ended up mapping shield or block to the one of the shoulder buttons so that I could hold that and then also do the. Uh, what is it? The um... is it for shield dashing purposes, or no shield rod and, and shield at the same time, and then I oh, yeah, the last then you... couple bosses that way. There's so many different ways to have busted the game by that point that it's, it's always it's, just a question it's, of it's, what did you pick. It's yeah. an easy game, but it's not a uh, but it's not like bad easy. It's never it, boring. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's it's like chicory, a colorful tale. Which is a good video game. I think you should play it, Goggle Bob. Okay. <laughs>
God, when they adapt, when they adapt this, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about the inverted Coliseum. When they, when they adapt it for Netflix, that's gonna be wild. Specifically, it's like, hey, Alucard, you gotta fight your old friends again, and... Yeah, but that'd be like season six. <laughs> Five, ten, well, all the, the, oh, wait, no, yeah, that would be six. Yeah, I forgot about that the Trevor Saga had four seasons. This one is this one is Rondo, which is season five. And then yeah, Nocturne would be uh or the the one after would be season six, yeah. I mean it wouldn't even surprise me if they somehow stretched the inverted castle into a season seven. It would it would just be like breaking bad where the last season is just divided into two parts. Can we all just agree that the Netflix Castlevania really doesn't have to be beholden to anything? And it doesn't have to, will but they keep doing it for marketing it's, purposes. It's, it's, it's cool what it does, though. It's cool what it references stuff, and uh, I still think they should have found a way to shoehorn Grant in there. I don't know. No. I feel okay. like the, I would have liked Netflix Castlevania a lot more if they had dedicated to at least one episode to like the three heroes being like, whoa, this castle is full of really weird shit. But they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they did kind of make a point of that, but it was just in a, like, oh, Dracula's got some really advanced technology, and that was it. Like, no nothing of them, like, just exploring the castle and trying to figure out what goes where and everything. <laughs> oh, like, one of those fucking, uh, what was it, like, Ghost Hunter shows? <laughs> Or, or not even, like, it could okay, just be, like, you know... Okay, I would have been on board know, with that. <laughs> yeah, or, like, one of those, like, non-Euclidean... Like, they realize, oh, this is a non-Euclidean room or whatever. Oh! I want to see Trevor Belmont say non-Euclidean. <laughs> I want to see Trevor no, Belmont. Be, it would be, it'll be a Cypher Alucard line. And then, and, but you would get Trevor say non-Euclidean, like, uh, like Solid Snake after hearing a term he doesn't know. Non-Euclidean. Yeah. S snake that means it doesn't conform to normal standards of geometry you could have a room you could go into four different room you could go in a complete circle and end up in a completely different room oh i just died <laughs> <Hey. laughs> great Hello. job tonight now we go out the evening for pleasure <laughs> I think, like, oh you're dead I don't even, wow I don't you know, a lot of wow. Wow. I don't even also, remember that that bold man did a, did a show you can. Yeah, I know, yeah, awesome. it was great. I don't even remember fighting these guys. Were they, was this an optional boss? No. Well, I mean, it's optional if you do your best to skip that area. <laughs> Let us go out the evening for pleasure. The night is still young. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is options, but I wasn't sure if they found a way to like port the PS5 version over to like PS into a PS1 ISO or whatever. Not to my knowledge. Uh, this is just pulled straight from the PSP version. Yes, I'm just... Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, port the PSP version back to a PS1 ISO. I'm sure someone's tried that. I can't imagine why you'd bother. I don't... Anything. Yeah, I don't know why you'd bother either when the PS1 dub is so much better. So much more iconic. Mm -hmm. I think the statement on this fight is that the the wolf and the minotaur don't actually have any new animations compared to Rondo, but the way they use their stuff together is like wholly new and makes it cool. I, I fight. think I think my statement on the fight is the wolf and minotaur are in a loving relationship. That's important. Oh, like the assistant uh, the minotaur and Hayes. Disagree. The Wolf and the Minotaur are absolutely on the rocks. They don't even talk anymore. <laughs> well, they were in a relationship. Now. They were in a relationship at some point. It's just... The Wolf and the Minotaur have, like, for the last three years, been that one episode of Moral Oral that just ends with uh, no children by the mountain goats. Oh, God. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> uh, that keeps coming up here. That, keep, that keeps coming up a disproportionate a number of these I, I It's know, deeply I... scarring. Like, that one's <laughs> shoot into my brain. I, I hate it. The, I absolutely I, hate it. <laughs> I haven't ever watched Moral Oral, but I know the clip you're talking about. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
just, just the wolf of the Minotaur, like lying on separate beds, staring at the ceiling, while the voice screams, I am drowning. There is no sign of land. You are coming down with me. Hand in a lovable hand. Just absolutely the grimmest shit imaginable. I'm sorry that you made the life of the werewolf of the Minotaur so sad. <laughs> <laughs> they were doing their best. The, 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 the thing that uh, Minotaur apparently said something to the werewolf, and then the werewolf's like, bullshit. Okay, sorry that didn't land. Also, I believe it is Castlevania, the previously mentioned Castlevania Chronicles, that distinctly has a she wolf as the werewolf. Like, that is the joke, if memory serves. Like, you fight you fight the werewolf, as you traditionally do in a uh, Castlevania game, and then they distinctly make it clear that you can kill the woman as opposed to a man. I think that happened in Chronicles. But in this one, it's definitely a dude again. Chronicles is the one released for PC, so it's almost a wonder they didn't make it an arrow game. Yeah. Hmm. Chronicles. Oh wait, right, that existed. It was called Rusty. Right, yeah. That's not a porn game. I know, I know. It's um... It could be. Do you want it to be? I mean, Saints I mean, Row is a porn game, but guess what? <laughs> what? What well, was Rusty good? I forget. Like it's as a, as a game. Yeah. Yeah. Also, since I'm repeatedly using the double jump, everybody enjoy Alucard getting his little one or two frame of a wing cape. Yeah, I like yeah. that. It's a really nice touch, you know? I And that happens with any of the uh, capes you have, right? Yeah, so one way or another. It's yeah, it's just part of the double jump animation. Yeah. I, I forgot about that. Remember the RB, RGB cape? Yeah, I mean, I, that, like, the, uh, the, I, like, mean the... I mean, I know about the RGB cape. I, I'm talking about the. Uh, no, the I was just saying that in general. Okay. I like how it changes, but um, I'm trying to remember what else. I've got no children thing stuck in my head. Thank you. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Seriously though, I can't listen to that song. It, it's it. brutal. Got out of the way. Valhalla Knight, all one word. Is it all one word or are they just squished together? The kerning is not great here. <laughs> yeah, doesn't look that great. I love that, like, the amount of money you're getting is den denoted in dollars. Yeah, money dollars. <laughs> money dollars. It's, uh, You're it's Spanish dollars. That, actually, it's Spanish dollars, which were a currency that was used in a lot of parts of the world at the time, up until about the turn of the 20th century. Oh, uh, money right. dollars. I, I'm just theorizing. And they're still used by guys who ask, what are you buying to this day? <laughs> what are you selling? No, they don't use those. They very specifically use pesetas there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love how, like, a Resident Evil goes out of its way to never say the country they're in that just refers to it as Europe, but it's extremely obviously rural Spain. I mean, they could still use Euros and get away with it. They're, oh, they could. Were they, were they speaking, uh, they were speaking, like, uh, Latin American Spanish, like, in the original release? The remake corrected that, but yeah, they were speaking a more Latin American dialect. That's super common, like, in local, yeah. like, issue of localization. Yeah. I just remember playing that with, uh, with dear friend Petito and him being, like, really <laughs> amused at, like, actually listening to them in the background and realizing, oh, they're saying things like, I'm behind you, idiot. <laughs> yeah. I remember there was, um, in Twi- this was on the topic of Latin American versus European Spanish dubbing. I remember specifically, I was reading about Toy Story 3, about Spanish buzz, because it was supposed to be, like, Spain Spanish buzz. And then in Latin America, they just did the same thing, except the accent was even more pronounced. But then in Spain, they gave him an uh, Andalusian accent, which is like the cowboy part of Spain, basically. The part where, like, Gaspacho and Antonio Banderas and all that is from. 
Oh, so he has like a what is it? Like a regional accent. In, in the in the European Spanish dub of Toy Story 3. Yeah. As opposed to just general like Spain Spanish. I like how the Falcon Knight more than death of his Falcon. Yes. <laughs> I had to yeah. get that to happen. That was just a good friend. All and night. Just killed them together. All night. Excuse me. <clears throat> And the gravekeeper who I interrupt his drink in the downstairs fountain. <laughs> He's just chilling. <laughs> He's just chilling. <laughs> his tea. I do like how uh, my many, like uh, my Castlevania enemies are just absolutely goofy. Imagine uh, if imagine if gravekeeper shows up in the Netflix series. And, and, I really uh, hope so. Uh, yeah. Uh, Give him go slash golem. Yeah. Go on, be about <laughs> goofy, goofy enemies. Oh, um, the one that, like, sticks out in my mind is from one of the portable ones. I'm not sure if it was DS or Game Boy. But, um, uh, like, there's, like, an enemy that's, like, a, um, a novice witch, and she's, like, yep. you know, yes. barely able to fly. And then, like, yeah. later in the game, there's, like, proper witch, and if you check the, like, description and, like, little enemy list, it's, like, <laughs> she's, she's so, so proud. She's so excited she finally graduated, and you're like, well, now I feel bad. <laughs> no, the thing is, when you when you beat one of the witches, they just turn into a cat, so maybe they might just be alive. And oh, yeah, no, fighting. she's fine. They but, like, away. I still feel bad. <laughs> like, I love, she's uh... just like, nope, I'm out of here. This guy's, this guy's just fucking up everything. God. That, that sense of goofiness was, like, one of the many things that always felt intensely and immediately wrong with... Lords of Shadow, which they had say, absolutely the no of sense of goofiness. <laughs> like, that was a very self-serious game about murdering women repeatedly for some reason. The, the, uh, the, the thing uh, is about the, um... Castlevania ended with Harmony of Despair. That was the big finale where everyone teamed up, and, uh... Hold on, I think grinded I the same levels over and over. <laughs> grinded the same level 9,000 times because you need to. They were just stuck in an infinite loop. It happened. <laughs> yeah, it's infinite recursion. It really is just a bummer for all involved. You know, Lords of Shadow, God, just... You could really write a book on just how that game treats every female character. It's so bad. It's, like, it's bad by the... AAA game standards from 2010, which is incredible and terrifying. I, I mean, just, my favorite is the fact that, like, the, I, the, the titular Lords of Shadow are, like, perversions of, like, three really holy knights. So, naturally, the female holy knight becomes a gigantic whore. <laughs> like, that the is pretty woman. much the same. <laughs> The sex woman. My my personal uh, favorite thing is that like, Lord of Shadow One sucks for super uninteresting oh, reasons. Okay. Godspeed. Godspeed. Uh, Lord Lords of Shadow Two sucks for way funnier reasons. <laughs> Go on, because I literally couldn't finish that game. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't finish one because it's so goddamn long. Like, I mean, I finished I got... one basically because for all of the ways that I kind of... I'm not going to say I hated it, but I didn't enjoy it. It at least was never... I never hit a, a sticking point with it. Oh, like, fuck, I never you just had got the JoJo reference. <laughs> a, yeah. the ability, I never had a situation where I was like, I can't beat this level, so I'm going to give up here. Like, it did at least kind of keep itself going. Um, Man, I, I, cannot too, even, I just didn't bother. <laughs> I, I cannot even imagine, because Lords, Lords of Shadow won, like, by about the halfway mark, I was kind of done. And I got really far in, and then I was like, why am I still doing this? And then I stopped. Uh, Lord of Shadow 2 is maybe 12 hours long, which helps, because Lord of Shadow 1 is like 25 hours long for no real reason. Uh, <laughs> you had to add another you could, fight. You, oh god, those are so bad. They're so, so yep. bad. You could, you could cut the first two chapters, which make up about like 12 levels, and lose nothing. Like, oh, absolutely 100 nothing. Agree. Like, My biggest even if you were, like, concerned about the like story... To get even if you were just concerned about the story, like, nothing in the story happens in those chapters either. Um, yeah, no, it's just worthless. 100% world-building. I use that... <laughs> world-building for a world that sucks ass. <laughs> yeah, um, like, not saying that in a good way. You can build a uh, world that is bad. 
But yeah, like in and in uh, Lord Shadow Two, the world is actually insane because it's a fucking city built on Dracula's castle. I and do appreciate that because that, that sounds game, so stupid. That game starts with Dracula being assaulted by weird giant steam robots that he stops from that he stops the assault of by vomiting so much blood on them that it causes all of the gears within them to like break down from like all the coagulation keeping them from spinning properly. That's actually awesome. Like I love this game now. <laughs> I don't care. It's so fucking stupid that it kind of owns. <laughs> whereas, like, Lord of Shadow 1 is so boring. Like, it's bad for boring reasons, whereas, like, Lord of Shadow 2 is bad for the dumbest reasons you've ever seen in your life. Oh, and I did play Mirror of Fate or whatever that was. Oh, that one's, that one's the worst. That, that one is so stupid. <laughs> That like, one, that's, the, um, that's the DS like, game, right? The, the 3DS That's the 3DS game? one, yeah. And yeah, I sort of, like, thought when I heard about that one, I'm like, oh, well, I mean, you know, that one will probably be fine because we've known how to make a good 2D Castlevania for 20 years now. So the thing that <laughs> so, happened so with that game... One. The thing that happened with that game is that... The thing that you're forgetting is that they were still trying to make it like a Devil May Cry knockoff, and That's basically so no one has ever made a good 2D Devil May Cry knockoff. Also, <laughs> but the one thing you're also forgetting about that, which I think is incredibly important, is... Wait, which button does miss? <laughs> nope. I have it's usually one of those shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> miss could pass. That's a Dog, that's not a mist. <laughs> I suck at this. Mm. How do you confuse dogs and mists, Goggle Bob? Mm. I'm so you have to it first. Yeah, no, it's, de it's definitely on. I guess it's probably in your system. Uh, mist. Oh, oh L and mist. R together. Okay, that's weird. That's weird. Anyway, but, uh, the one other thing that happens in that game is if you play the game, I feel like it is very obvious that if the game were played chronolo chronologically according to its characters, yeah. the characters would advance in skills because technically yeah. chronologically the first character that you play as has the it's least Trevor. interesting moveset. And the final character chronologically that, you could, that occurs in the game has the Simmons. most interesting moveset. But you play the game in reverse because if you didn't play the game in reverse, it wouldn't be a big stupid mystery as far as who the characters are. So I even feel like re in full reverse, they're just mucked up. Right, and the thing is, is I feel like the game was originally designed with the intention that you played it in the order of the characters getting more interesting, and was then reversed entirely for the stupid storyline, which I cannot say ever again like constantly it's a very stupid story <laughs> it's really bad it's really bad also the original 3ds version of that game runs at like 20 frames a second it's, if that. it's beautiful wait there's it there's a version awful. that's not on the 3ds oh yeah you can get yeah, it on, the, on, Steam on, now. on like modern amazing system. i think it's on i will Xbox never play it yeah Fate. mirror of fate hd it's really bad there's no reason to ever play it I played through it because I played through basically every main Castlevania game. Yeah, no, I yeah, played so through it basically guys... for the same reason that Beat said, which is like, they know how to make 2D Castlevanias. Logically, there should be something good here. It's a 2D Castlevania say, game with fall damage. What? <laughs> <laughs> what, what that's were you gonna that's say, deeply offensive. I was going to say, and yet somehow these guys got Metroid Dread. They could die with it. Yeah, no, I, no, I, I mean, it's it clear with them until it's right. <laughs> there's, there's zero doubt in my mind that Nintendo has absolutely just beat the shit out of certain developers. And... <laughs> like, if you've ever read anything about what happened during the development of Metroid Prime, you know how harrowing it can be. Mm -hmm. the, uh... Well, also, Retro Studios was ran like... Um, how to put this delicately? A gulag? It was. Uh, it was run a scam. 
Yeah, it was it was run by a guy who like is exactly the sort of person you'd expect would come out of a claim. So it was Didn't one of those we, things. Like um, uh, talk about how like you're all getting uh, pay cuts and then show up in a brand new Maserati or something. <laughs> yeah, some sort of luxury car. Yeah, some that, sort was, of that was one of the car. stories. And then like. Then, like, uh, some letter went out saying they'd all get, like, bonuses and, like, these, the total amounts, and they all, like, did the math, and then they got the actual, got the math and figured out what it should be, and then they actually got their bonuses and were like, wow, you guys are just absolutely screwing us over here. <laughs> You're actually evil. The yeah, Retro's management was just, uh, from hell. Wait, so did it get fixed by Metroid uh, Dread or whatever? It, basically, well, the, the, these are two different things. Metroid Prime was Retro's game. This was back oh, in 2002. Prime. And what ends up happening is that once Nintendo decides that the easiest way to deal with this is to just buy Retro and decapitate the management, uh, like, they, they end up running a fair bit smoother. But it's it's a harrowing point to that point, and there are defi there's definitely a point after that purchase where it's just like, hey, go check your desk. If your shit is in a box, leave. <laughs> yeah, so, like, you know, just, just wonderful, great management style. Like, that was, that was after they got bought. It was very much just a, like, we're done with tact and we're done with dealing with this shit. Yeah. Check uh... But yeah, uh, with, with Dread. <clears throat> I was gonna say, I think Matt McMuscles did a whole what happened with Retro Studios. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a there's a there's Matt McMuscles has done some pretty from, great stuff. There's, a, there's an article about it that was pretty, it was a pretty interesting That's, history yeah, I think from I about five years back. Ago. It was, it was grim, like nothing, nothing good was coming out of that. Not a good time, not a good time. Yep. Like, the one time I got laid off, my biggest memory of it was I handed in my laptop to the um, uh, to the guy at, like, the laptop room, and he just said, you don't get a receipt, man. And I just, like, said, without even thinking, ten fucking years. Uh, Metro, it's, everything I've heard about Retro sounds way the fuck worse. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was not a good time. So, uh, yeah. So, Metroid. Castlevania. <laughs> <laughs> Castlevania. Oh, do you have a um, uh, do you have a fairy friend now? I do have a fairy yeah, friend. Very familiar. He's super familiar. Uh, super familiar. I always like wonder, uh, like every time, like there's like one of those flying around. Like if it looks like like a bat or something, I think ah yes, it's a bat. But if it's a fairy, I full on expect it to like have like conversations and opinions about shit. I mean, it does on occasion. <laughs> it says like, things rarely for reasons. <laughs> for reasons. Like like if it's if it's human shaped, I expect it to be. So you're still doing this shit, huh? Like I want I want like any like familiar Alucard has to just be, like, absolutely merciless in their roasting him. I was gonna say, like, Alucard does need a sidekick who continually reminds him that he's, like, Captain Mopey. <laughs> oh, you still sad about killing your dad? You still sad about that? <laughs> I mean, he is basically Tinkerbell here, like, <laughs> Tinkerbell should be snarky. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of her deal. <laughs> Oh man, he got a library card. Now he can finally rent books. <laughs> I mean, they made a big deal about that in, uh, what was it? Uh, Bloodstained? You can borrow books, and if you borrow the best book, then the librarian tries to kill you if you try to leave. Yeah, if you try to go to the final boss area with... I don't know if it's just the one book or any I think books. it's the one book because it's kind of a deliberate, like, post-game thing. But yeah, if you try going there, he'll be like, Hey, I told you to return that fucking book. And then if you beat him up, you're allowed to just steal all of his books. That and is how libraries is work. It turns out if you beat up the librarian, you do get to keep the books. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what'd you say? I, the librarian in Bloodstained is voiced by the original Alucard voice actor in this game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not in the version we're playing today, though. Yeah. Not that you can hear it. 
but she probably won't listen, will you? <laughs> I was wondering if we were going to bring that up. That's, that seemed appropriate. It's not quite as funny as we can't save the world from within a CD player, but <laughs> that's still very cute. Isn't that what happens when you put Skies of Arcadia in a um, uh, yeah. CD player? Yeah. <laughs> If you put Symphony of the Night in, there's like a ref, like Alucard tells you that like it was a PlayStation CD, you can't listen to it in a CD player. Uh, you probably want to take this out; it's going to make some weird noises if you don't. And then at the end, he just sort of says, "If you, but you probably won't listen to me, will you?" <laughs> that is pretty cute. Yeah. yeah. All right, that helps somewhat troubleshoot something. I'm finally getting scripting done on my game, so. All right. But how many people are working on it, or, or is it just, just is it a solo? It's um okay. So in terms of like, well, in the Discord server, uh, there are thirteen people. In terms of people who are actively working on it, there's me. There's one, two, three, four artists. Uh, we have a couple testers. And now, like, a script writer I've had on since 2019, I've finally written out a good chunk of, like, hey, these are scenes that are definitely going to be in and we need, like, scripting for. So he's going to help with dialogue and stuff, yeah. All right. Nice. Uh, yeah. I'm having to teach immunity also, which is... Um, not, Fun. The, not so much Unity, but yeah. I, I forget. For, Unity is free, or it is, no? It, it is okay. free, but you could pay for a professional edition if you are like a business or whatever. And I'm not doing that until I have to. Yeah, you have to have a. They'll only get on your case about it if there's like a certain amount of money made and a certain yeah. amount of people using the same. Project. I I beat this game without getting the snorkel. It's possible. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, there are some quote-unquote speedrunning strats that I haven't been doing at all, just because I'm kind of, Why? as I mentioned, literally <laughs> playing this game. I, I, yeah, I just didn't know how to, like, get it for a while. I couldn't figure out where it was, so I'm like, oh, um, guess I didn't need it then, okay. <laughs> That's a good way of looking at it. I'm not certain I knew how to do you're that. Getting, but I you're didn't. getting owned by these bubbles. You're getting bobbled. <laughs> I can't believe you're getting bubble bobbles. Yeah, incidentally, they da, recently da, announced da, the, da, 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 the bubble yeah. power up for the ben, Super Mario One Bar. And, and somebody was saying, like, I saw it on Twitter that, like, <laughs> this was stolen from a ROM hack, but legitimately it was just stolen from Bubble Bobble, so. <laughs> Everyone knows they copyrighted Bubbles. I think I, I think I think Bubbles are in the public domain. I'm gonna be real <laughs> with you. I'm pretty sure Bubbles are. Um, uh, you're allowed to use and those. The idea that you can bubble an enemy and then jump on it, like I have seen that before. <laughs> that's that's Bubble Bobble. <laughs> that is Bubble Bobble. Bubble Bobble. Hey, screaming Red Skull. Bubble Bobble. Hey, hey screaming Red Skull. Oh, good. It's a Castlevania game. We need more skulls. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Am I that fire? 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 <laughs> Joke to you? <laughs> I said more. <laughs> we didn't well, say we didn't already uh, have one. I'm sorry, Red Skull. I, we we uh, always appreciate your presence. <laughs> oh, good. When you kill a frozen shade, your controller screams. I enjoy that. That sucks. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm gonna hold it up to the oh, mic. it comes down the controller. That's awesome. I love it when games do that. I'm not a fan. What? what like, when do they. Does, uh. I know the PS5 has, like, some more haptic feedback or whatever. <laughs> but do they yeah, have my controller, like your controller is broken. How do you think the, um, speaking of PS5 and hack the feedback and Konami, I'm just thinking, like, how is the Xbox 
version of the Psycho Mantis they gotta go when that remastered collection comes out. It's, gonna it's probably just, gonna uh, mostly it's gonna be. Stand. It's gonna say again your Google search history. Your fly is like a controller. <laughs> your your big um, activity. No, no, and the, and the Switch version of, um, if you're playing in portable mode, it would be like, use one side of the, uh... Like, oh no! <laughs> do the dance! Ah, they're dead. Why didn't you save them? You could have rescued <laughs> them, you just stood there and did they nothing! They are not my friend! He doesn't give a shiitake! <laughs> he, he actively killed them, actually. <laughs> like, pushing that box there is what killed them. It's like so, the uh, fucking monster. I hate you now. So the, <laughs> the kind of the energy water... of letting, not saving the animals is super. Trying to figure out. No, no, why they were yes. actively trying to stab me. They are not my friends. They, they were like... signaling for help with their spears. <laughs> I forget the water. Like it's damage on contact, right? Is it just because it's like it's not yeah, running? Yeah. Is it just really, really cold? I mean, it is assumed that it's like it's holy. Yeah. <laughs> it's roll. It, it's it is uh, flowing directly from the upstairs cathedral. And that's why Alucard can't go in the water. Oh, so it is holy. Okay, that makes sense. I think I got this pentagram just like brute forcing or whatever. But uh, I was gonna say that is. Um... <laughs> Oh yeah, it's like you gone. Here. Oh, well, go the name down. Something appeared by the wooden bridge. God, that bloom. So you got the. Was, uh, I think that was on the original PS1 the version, also. Yeah, nothing's really changed here. I don't even remember the bat having that dash, but that's cool. It's a move that you have to enter in a special command to do. All right, I, 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 I hardly hearing that. <laughs> I I so hardly did control. that except for the one that was just up, down, left, right, and then circle or whatever. Yeah, I I used one of the spells completely randomly against uh, one of the bosses, but other than that, like I've been primarily not doing the command stuff. Can't believe this guy's gonna take you to the underworld. I should have given Alucard an SPD. I love that there's this whole pulley system and everything. Dude, dude's got it going on. Yeah, I remember seeing huh? something like this also in uh, the beginning of Dishonored. This is not a rinky-dink operation. This is I, remember if, I wonder if this was like more common for boats back in the days when boats were more popular. Merman statue. Merman. So you usually do uh, fox, that sort of thing, instead of cranes. Yeah. Uh, well, oh, boom! Uh, what's this thing again is, um. What does the merman statue do again? I forget. It summons, summons the ferryman back at the, uh. Oh, the right, yeah. Where you can then get yeah. the snorkel. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah. I do love the idea that it's a holy snorkel, meaning somebody went to trouble of blessing it. <laughs> a holy I, snorkel I for it, the holy I water. It, was it called the holy... I thought the, I thought the snorkel was just a fan name. It looks like a snorkel, but I think it has... We'll, we'll find yeah. out. Probably also yeah. depends upon your translation. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Girl says, I'm gonna swing my spear like this, and if you don't save me, it's your own fault. <laughs> that is true. Are you still angry? I am still angry. Those were, uh, those are Why did you skeletons. have to remind him? <laughs> I thought they were out. There were skeletons in armor. Yeah, okay. skeletons are allowed to wear armor. It's not a crime, <laughs> it's not illegal. <laughs> it would be cooler if it was illegal. <laughs> 
So how did everyone spend their Labor Day weekend? I got COVID. Damn. I played FF16. I think why, I got a why worse. Do, why do bad <laughs> things keep happening to my friends? Another friend of mine, another friend of mine who I was planning to go to the like local like, uh, <laughs> vegan festival with, um, she ended up getting um, she ended up getting like a stomach virus or something. That sucks. That yeah. Sucks. So my friend at work was just in the shitter this whole weekend. Why do bad things keep happening to my friends? Uh, anyway, so it, it got me Probably angry enough. Of evil in our souls. Yeah. The human uh, <laughs> I, I think I just think the government's out to get us. Anyways, uh, well I know that. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's, that's my question. is um, it, it filled me with enough violence that I went back to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu again after taking like three months off earlier today. Well, that's good. Also, use of time. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I, did that. I think the reason I didn't start in August is because I had a PC game pass for a month. Dangerous. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, I'll take government is it. No, I, I, I can't believe it. Anyways, uh, B, you didn't go bowling last Friday, did you? Nope. Okay. To my knowledge. So yeah, you probably didn't. Not to my knowledge. <laughs> I could have. I don't Beach know. Sleep bowling. <laughs> that would be sometimes, awesome. Sometimes I wake up in weird places and just, just roll with it. And Literally in roll. Blood. No, that's that's mostly that's mostly limited to like weird, strange alleyways. <laughs> I I remember I remember this dead the game. Hey like, Donkey Kong. We're getting I love Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong. Country. <laughs> but no, I did not go bowling, and I do know how I got it. My wife got infected at like some sort of work function that she didn't want to go to in the first place. So. And, you know, God. and as a wife guy, yeah, it was inevitable that I would. Go once, once, once she had it, you had to get it out of obligation. <laughs> you won't have that COVID. It's, 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 it's true. It's true. <laughs> you were legally entitled to half of that COVID, and by gum, you were going to take it. <laughs> My COVID, and I need it now. <laughs> Did I mention I played and beat Hi-Fi Rush last month? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's a good game. Looks like a good one. Yeah. I have not uh, my, only, my only problem with it, like, you know, here's a good game, here's a laundry list of problems I have with it. Mainly, like, lock on and sometimes your AI friends, uh, don't have, um, good enemy priority. That is a pretty common AI issue. Okay. Yeah. Death. Destiny if, awaits. If, so if the game had a lock on it would be nearly as bad. Okay. I don't, I don't even know why you just did that. <laughs> I know. What, what were you, you expecting to happen? <laughs> do you have the out of curiosity, do you have the wolf power up or Yes, yes. I do. Okay, so yeah, you do get that before the bat. Yeah, okay. get that long That's before the bat. I wasn't sure if, like, because I know I got it before the battle, I wasn't sure if, like, oh, you just got them in a different order. The, the, the wolf comes before the mist, right? Yes, the wolf is technically yes. the first one. The wolf's the first one you get, and unless you're, like, a speedrunner, it's the most useless. Yes, 100%. Yeah. It looks like a snorkel, it's called Holy Symbol. How did I get the trophy for the first time? I was like, what? There it is. <laughs> That's definitely what could a snorkel. It be? <laughs> you could You've been there and on it. Believe it or not, it's just me. <laughs> Believe it or not, I got a holy snorkel. Believe it or not, George isn't at home. Please leave a message. I like that that has me. become more like. The, the more permanently remembered thing than the actual theme song. The weird album. I mean, that has, more to, that has more to do with the fact that, like, there's just not much worth going back to in Greatest American Hero. Yeah. And it, it very rarely is rerun at 7 p.m. on major television stations. <laughs> so it's a very eh sort of show. Actually, you know what? I haven't had cable TV in years. What is actually, like, playing in, like, the 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock time slot? Why uh, would you assume any of us Literally every cop show that we have a name for. <laughs> and seven um, we don't. Uh, Adult <laughs> Swim is going to start airing at 6 p.m., and it's going to start airing classic Cartoon Network stuff like Ed, Ed, and Eddie. 
that's from a an very interesting dark. choice, but all right, yeah, sure. Why I not? mean, that's I mean, they were given that time slot because that's where all the shows that what all the awards are, and um, yeah, they said okay, we're gonna use the early hours to just air classic cartoons, hmm. and yeah, good for them, I guess. Oh, at six yeah. or seven a.m. Um, okay. Yeah, I was referring to the old like syndicated blocks between prime time and the news. But I'll like, no, P10. to answer your question, Gago Bob, my wife has shotgunned something called the Rookie, and it is, it is like... I assume that's about a Rookie Super Cop? Of yes. course it is. It stars Nathan Fillion. <laughs> Wait, oh, Nathan Fillion's a Rookie? <laughs> the entire premise is that he's too old to be a cop, but he did it I anyways, because he loves the police dad. so much. And yes, the show is absolutely as brain-poisoned and evil as you could be guessing. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so they actually, this actually started last week, um, just learning about it. The Adult Swim from like, cause it actually starts at 5pm now, but from 5 to 7 it airs this thing called like Checkered Past, which is just like, um, all the like classic late 90s, early 2000s Cartoon Network shows. Oh, well, that sounds nice. Yeah, good for them. That's cute. I wish the children would just get to have their own Cartoon Network shows instead, but what you gonna do? I mean, it's the Discovery guys. They're a uh... Yeah, no, that's what, I'm not saying that they have much choice. I'm saying I wish that things... And also, and also yeah. like, everyone's just streaming it now, so they just... I know from some... Okay, so I used to have a insider who worked at Cartoon Network, and uh, or worked as a contractor for them, and the their whole schedule is just Teen Titans Go throughout most days. And they do that so other animators get time to work on their shows, and, you know, everyone's watching on streaming, so it doesn't even really matter. I'm yeah. gonna say, I don't the... know any kids that actually watch television networks. Now, it might be a matter of... It's you know, the only kids I know now. are my friend's children, so to speak, and I suppose they're likely nerds to begin with, but other than that, like... It's turn on Netflix, and that's it. Yeah. Or, that's how my or... sister does it with her kids. Yep. That's she is, um, uh, they watched, like, there was this tweet going around saying, oh, kids these days don't understand uh, the experience of watching the exact same shitty movie on VHS 800 you times. You idiot. You idiot. No, you, you fucking fool. idiots. Yeah. Now they understand the experience of watching the exact same fucking shitty movie on streaming 800 children, times. Children will, in fact, choose to watch the same thing over and over, even when they have new things they've never seen. Yeah, yeah exactly. Me with, me, with, me with a new hope. My niece and nephew watched uh, fuck this, this weird, like, movie about... Uh, poisonous animals in Australia being friends. Movie like eight <laughs> times in one visit. Good for them. Uh, yeah, I, I think I, I think I wore out the A New Hope tape back when uh, when I was like four or five. Guess we'll just watch the same thing again and again. Yep, can confirm. Oh damn, it's Cerberus. Cerberus, he's your dog. It's a good boy. Too many. Too bad we have to put him down. You're, you're going to put down a laser dog? Do you have any idea how expensive well, purebred well, laser dogs are? Do you well, see how well, bad the vision was? Evil anyway. Oh, yeah, no, that is evil. Uh, style, and also, you know, it's... it's he, we're Alucard. We can bring him back. Pure breeding is evil anyway. It would be that so cool true. if, like... I forget if any Castlevania game did this, but if you could bring back the bosses you defeated as, like, summons or whatever. Why are you? Closest thing would be the most of my mind, you have specifically a Salem witch because those were just, those were just like the victims of bad neighbors. Well, I mean that mm -hmm. might be the the theoretical statement that they're like avenging themselves. Like that one. Uh, wait. Break oh, break oh away. I love that little goblin guy. Uh, what's gonna say again is um. Was there ever a game that let you like gremlins? Yeah, that's why I love them. Uh, what's gonna say again is um. Was there ever a Castlevania game that, like, you could summon former bosses or whatever that you beat? The closest thing you get is the Innocent Devils in Curse of Darkness. Oh, I thought... I mean, unless you the count the, the soul system being, like, you know, you're not summoning them, but you're... Using yeah, their yeah. Power. Using their power, yeah. I guess Some of them. Not really the impressive ones. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm just imagining bringing Cerberus back and he does that like triple laser towards whatever's on screen. That would be pretty be sick. Yeah. And then you give him a little pet. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, I, right. I, 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 I am forgot very you much. Pet. I forgot I'm you hated very much that. Against, uh, I, I, I forgot. Against. I can't pet the dog. I, for, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay, I, I forgive you. Jeez, it's not <laughs> that serious. <laughs> Try to be considerate. Anyways, um. I'm a fan. Alright, pick up the phone. Wait. The controller is making way too much noise with these guys. <laughs> and then you, you, like, sub it up. Uh... Every time you hit one, they, like, give, like, the entire Anne Rand monologue. Just <laughs> John Galt speaking. John just coming speaking. out of your controller with every hit. And, and it just like, like plays on top of itself. Overlaying itself. Just, just a horrible cacophony. That's what I want. I'll see you have another one. You summon a uh, Legion, or uh, I think they're called Legion in the support. Yeah, you summon yeah, Legion, Legion and they just crush Legion the entire. Yeah. You, you su and then they just crush everyone. Or you summon like Belzebub and it's just like bee everywhere. Mm -hmm. Uh, sleepy. Yeah. I might go to bed in not not like immediately, but relatively soonish because as stated I have COVID. Well, yeah, what time you probably take care of yourself. It's yeah. like ten and twenty, so it's like, not even that late, but like you know Have you been taking any like antibody sort or anything or it's an IQUIL. <laughs> Uh, okay, I wasn't sure if you're gonna do like a zithromycin or whatever, because that's what I got prescribed when I had COVID for a bit. All right, you still hear Cali Scrub? Yes, I, yes, I. Am. Let's eat a peanut. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, will you succeed? Will you succeed? I gotta eat those peanuts. Let's get peanutty. Uh, uh, uh. Difficult to eat. No, Content wait. warning for people with peanut allergies. What what am I like I uh, ran into uh, it. What am I? Uh, it you fucked it up, bitch! Get out of this room, Bob! I'll so mad at you! God damn it! Uh, <laughs> how are you so bad at this? Well, I failed on all my peanuts. Wait, you got one more! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> at least you didn't oh, say this just the most tragic imaginable. <sighs> Be We're all failure. so Gaga Bob. <laughs> Yo, there can be no forgiveness. Should have at least gotten the duplicator before you did that. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'll just casually spend a million G does, dollars. Is it like, does a peanut like fully heal you or is it just like no, one it HP? No, it heals you a pittance. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very much not worth it. But it's it's just for novelty. It's just yeah. a joke. It's like him, uh, it's yeah, like I was, the Robin Undertale. Sure. I oh wasn't God. sure if it would. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure if it was like. Crunch the oh, it, 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 it fully heals you. What if Alucard was allergic to peanuts? Would that be fucked up or what? <laughs> would that be fucked up? I'm gonna I'm gonna kill Beat with a leap stone when we get to the moon. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thank you. Why would you do that? <laughs> would that be fucked up or what? Oh damn, you're right. That would be fucked up. Okay, you have my permission. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to die in space. <laughs> in space, no one can hear you stream. Thank God, we're finally free. <laughs> finally, even worse streams may die as it lived in, in space. space. <laughs> in space. Uh, I still like to read that book Morning Song sent me. Uh, a thousand ways to die in space. <laughs> You can learn so many things about how you could die in space. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Book who sent you? Oh, Morning Song. She's um, uh, she's like, she's like um, uh, one of my um, uh, old pet, old buddies from like ten forums ago. She's great. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, she's smaller. From like ten forums ago. Those of us on the internet too long. <laughs> Didn't she show up in, like, streams from pre Yeah, yeah, she's been on the streams. <laughs> yeah, she's been in the early day streams. Yeah, she's, she's been around. I still see her on Twitter from time to time. She's great. I guess I'll try and get her a blue sky, because I'm trying to leave the one hell site 
for the uh, hell site that's in our in all honesty probably worse in a lot of ways. <laughs> It uh, hasn't yeah. actively, it hasn't started, like, actively promoting anti-Semitism from the top, so... Yeah, God! Like... Oh, geez. That post. <laughs> like, it's like, we're what? going to blame the Jews for this. <laughs> like, it was just very straightforward, like, really, guys? His, his, his argument was, I am so an non-anti-Semitic that saying that I'm anti-Semitic is actually racist, so, um, uh... So it's the Jews' fault that I'm, the, I'm all the advertisers just left. <laughs> and he made some incredibly boneheaded statement about verification that, like, you can't tell how many people are behind an unverified account, which literally is insane. <laughs> like, even everything Elon says is completely fucking even insane. Even before Elon's verification system. Which is currently, do you have eight dollars? But even before that, like there were we have so verified many. You once had eight dollars. Yes. We could prove you had eight dollars I... at some point in time. I remember Lulubu. <laughs> but the early days of verification, like I guarantee you, like the verified account for I don't know, you know, the famous Steve or whatever. It was a freaking like, team of people, you know, doing his, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Publicity. Yeah, he had a social media team. Yeah, social media mm -hmm. team. So even though you had to verify, you know, this is Steve, you had no way of knowing that that wasn't, like, 60 people. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this list of Switch Online game update is absolutely, looks like a shitpost. <laughs> what, oh, what, what is, is it, it now? share. Build. Downtown Niketsu March Super Awesome Field Day, okay. Joy Mech Fight, Kirby Star Stacker, the one that didn't get translated, Amazing. and Game Boy Color Quest for Camelot. <laughs> what? Oh wow! Awesome. You know what? Wait, good for Joy. Good for Joy Mech Fight. That's a that's a that's a hidden Famicom gem. Have, Wait, the um, uh, the fucking the, the based off of the fucking movie Quest for Camelot? Yes. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, that's uh, why I this link reads like a shit post. <laughs> and, uh, downtown Niketsu, that's, that? that's, uh, that's, like, uh, that's uh, the forward? River City games. Was it a way oh, forward game? Oh, I gotta look uh, this up now. Yeah, I think it is a Kunio uh, game, right? Yeah, yeah. And downtown Niketsu is a Kunio game. Alright, go Kunio. Uh, alright, I'm looking at... Quest for Camelot. Developer, Titus Software. I found okay. the long play of it. Who, who owns their fucking earthly remains to allow that to happen? <laughs> Ooh, my Titus, god. Yeah, so Titus. I, I think it's Interplay, because I know the CEO... Interplay doesn't exist anymore either. I was about to say, they didn't no, Interplay, they play that much. They actually still do, they re-release re their old games. Uh, they... One. Yeah, yeah, uh, Bankruptcy and Dissolution, assets now owned by Interplay Entertainment. I would have guessed Infogrames, but oh well. No, they're not owned by Atari. Uh, I'm trying to remember if, uh... Okay, so that was, um... Yeah, so downtown to the Super Awesome Field Day... Uh, I'm looking right here. It's a direct sequel to, um... It's a direct sequel to River City Ransom, but it's part of the, like, action sports series or whatever. It's, it's no Gambare Dunk Heroes, but it's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, I remember reading about Gambare Dunk Heroes. That was pretty cool. Um, but good good for Joy Mech Fight, though. That That's neat. Yeah, the and the better version of Kirby Star Stacker that we didn't get for some reason. <laughs> Has Master Higgins appeared in any game <laughs> since, <laughs> since, uh, since New Adventure, Adventure Island? Island? No, Adventure Island the beginning, you mean. Wait, is there a doesn't exist. Infogrames brought the name. They're essentially wearing a dead person's face and trying to live in their legacy. I mean, well, that's been about, the case for talking about, You talking about Atari? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Bruno Banal. I do have to say, Quest for Camelot is definitely... I remember when that movie came out when I was in high school. 
I remember, yeah, I remember that movie, like, uh, I remember seeing, like, an ad for that movie in the paper of all fucking things. <laughs> yeah, there you like, go, huh. that about dates it correctly. And I was like, huh, that certainly sounds like a Disney movie, but it wasn't. And I was like, oh, I guess it's not a Disney movie, and then I never saw it. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it definitely, Sancha. I think it had, like, a two goofy dragon sidekicks, that's what I remember from the ads. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's about all I got. <laughs> They're probably yeah, the yeah, you remember more than I do. Oh, uh, yeah. Gonna gonna get the knowledge. We don't have to. I'm gonna Let's see. Uh, it's about. Grand balloon, huh? <laughs> I always like that name. There he is, the 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 big orb. Yeah, leap. Oh wait, they still call it Grand Faluda this one, or they didn't do a full retranslation. They just did some edits. Oh okay, I guess they got the rights to use it for this one, but not for like the Vodka Estate, but not for the others. I don't know that Grand Faluda is trademarked in any meaningful fashion. And Legion. It, also, why them. wouldn't you call it Legion? Because he is many. Let's say Legion Grand is Faloon older is, than is a sensical re is a sensical name if you aren't calling it Legion, but yeah, it's so, um... the idea of not calling it Legion is weird to me. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's a group of people who affect. Okay, so a Grand Faloon is a large, a group meaningless of association of people. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, but it might. I feel like they. Uh, I feel like. Uh, Vodagut's estate owns a copyright on it, I, and they just... I, it... I think it's just considered a coined word. Oh. If only we were on the internet, we could look this up. <laughs> I am on the internet, I am looking it up. The bigger problem is that Google is now useless, so this is actually <laughs> very difficult. <laughs> See what yeah, OpenAI thinks about it. I basically just use DuckDuckGo now for everything. Google and DuckDuckGo is still sourcing back to Google. The results are still bad. Yeah, yeah I, I kind of hate that. Like literally, I've used Bing in the past to get actual results, and like, like Google fully reached a point where like it's all like everything is optimized to to Google for both browsers and search, and it's ruined both of them. Yeah, it's awful. Um, I, I now get that like little pop up saying, "Hey." Do you want to try AI powered Google? And I every time just say no. Fuck you. I've never gotten it. I've never seen it, so I don't care. I mean, I do care that you know AI bad, but it's like I've never seen it happen. I still use Google. I I I'm just like I get bad results from Google at this stage. Yep. I um, am the computer guy in a let's. Like, the local chamber of commerce, I'm the designated computer guy. Like, anybody has a computer question, I've never seen you before in my life, but they'll just saddle up to me and be like, so what's the AI I'm 40 year old. Yeah, it's like, you're the computer guy. And you would not believe the looks on their faces when I explain, like, basically how AI works or doesn't work compared to whatever, like, diseased thing is appearing in Economist this week. Uh... Yeah, like, when you actually explain what people are calling AI, it sounds like the stupidest thing you've ever heard, That's and then the you thing. realize, oh, wait, that that's correct. That's the <laughs> and I love the people, there are some people that, like I said, I've never seen them before in my life, and they'll saddling up and answering these questions. But there are some people who I've known for years, and I said, remember when we had this conversation about Bitcoin? <laughs> Like, just trust me on this. We've been down this road before. I was about to say, this, before. Remember this how is... it sounds very familiar to that? Guess what? <laughs> hey, Bob, what's up with these NFTs? Let's not do this again. <laughs> Let's not. Let's stop being credulous when people who have too much money say things. I know I'm being optimistic. Blood skeleton. <laughs> blood, 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 blood. The ocean. <laughs> blood ocean. I know who you are. <laughs> Fucking metalocalypse. Still trying to get planet piss off the ground. <laughs> Wait, so oh yeah, um... Damn, it sucks he got COVID, but would you have seen, like, Baby Clock if you didn't have COVID? Baby Clock. Baby it's uh, baby clock. So, Death Clock and Baby Metal were in town last Saturday. Mm. Oh. 
Probably not. They, ca they oh, call damn, the tour. They they call the tour baby clock. I think that's cute. I mean, it sounds fun. Like I probably would have had a blast, it's but I don't think I would have like gone out of my way to see it. I, I mean, mostly yeah, just babe. see. I, I mostly just like uh, go to concerts when they are um, uh, the kind of thing that like is contained in one shitty bar. That's how I saw <laughs> R.A. the Rugged Man last year. Cool. Yeah. That's that's my that's my favorite um, uh, method of going to a concert. Oh hey, B, did you see there's a new Jeff Robinson stock album? Oh fuck no, I didn't. Uh, yeah, hell no, I haven't listened to it either. But oh, I just saw that, that out. came out on the first. Stock. I, I was did. just thinking about it because it's like, oh, I should check "quote unquote" records. Since I went, I went to a shitty while. bar concert once. I didn't realize that they operate on Latino time. I don't know what that means. I don't know it what that means, means like either. they say they say the show starts at six thirty, but it really means it's starting at like seven ten or whatever. Oh, that's normal for concerts. I've been to many concerts, yeah, and that is just how that is like I... that's that's standard. Yeah, I mean, I first, had, I had like been, that again, please. Yeah, yeah I don't, I don't last, like that phrase. <laughs> didn't like it either. I, I, I am, I am, I am Puerto Rican. I can, I, I, I am privileged to use that term. I'll take your word, but I'd rather <laughs> avoid it personally. Okay, understandable, <laughs> understandable. I, I won't use it. I appreciate your kindness. Fuck rock type. And, yeah, thank you. Oh my god. Um, let's gonna say again is uh, I can um. I'll, I'll use... Yeah, no, I knew I knew what you meant. Uh, screw the Red Skull. Uh, <laughs> okay, Red Skull's... Red Skull's color. Yeah. Um, what's gonna say again is... Um, the last one I was at, I think before, that uh, it was like a benefit show for like food.bobs, but the one before that was like Coldplay in 2015, and that was because uh, my parents uh, wanted to go to that. Parent Coldplay. rock. <laughs> Coldplay is it absolutely parent rock. People, people use the term like dad rock, but like honestly, Coldplay is bomb rock. I don't know. Even that's that's like... fair. Um, I remember listening to like one of their albums once, and um, I just put it on like YouTube on the big like TV, and like I was just listening to it idly while I worked, and was just like, wow, I have not heard. A single song that I think will stick with me, and then finally, one song. I was like, "Oh yeah, finally a little bit of energy on this track." And, and I look at the TV. Probably pulled you into an this, automatic playlist. It, no, I look at the TV, and at the bottom of the screen, it says, "Click here to skip this ad." Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Even worse. Uh, uh, that, 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 that. Also, also, um, first, I, I guess like. Based on what my mom's listening habits are, Imagine Dragons is also Bob Rock. Like, yeah, no, even, that's fair. I wouldn't even describe Coldplay as bad at what they're attempting, but yeah, it's very no, much the sort of thing that... excellence at being, like, the most... the most mellow, chilled-out rock Yeah, I would, just, I would describe it as yeah. the sort of thing that was, like, used to be... Like, I remember the last time I listened to them was on the radio during a drive, which they were ideal for. Yes, yeah. yes. Act literally earlier, me earlier today. That's <laughs> what, uh, but, uh, um, I was gonna say is, I think um, The Scientist is a legitimately great song, but <laughs> it is a legitimately it's great song piano song. <laughs> it is not a, uh, it is not what I would call, like, a rock song. It is, I like, know, I like nice the music video. Song. I like the music video where they're all monkeys. That one was, is created a lot of really funny memes. I have n not seen that one, and I don't believe I will seek it out. <laughs> uh, You've probably seen gifts from it, uh, Monkey. Oh, shortly. Damn it, I have only found the monkey peeing in his mouth at every cartoon reference in 2003. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that! <laughs> All you should think of is of a... Is a Carl. With the it's too advanced to talk to anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it only has the it only has the brain of a three year old. Well, a three year old stay no pain. Three year old would not like this. From this. <laughs> oh my god. No means no. I'm telling mommy. Is that a god. problem? No. What <laughs> There's so many, like, <laughs> jokes from Aqua Teen that, like, 
<laughs> Sans context, even with context, just horrifying. <laughs> they're, they're nightmares. I can't, I can't in good conscience recommend them to other people, but I can sure have fun time <laughs> shouting them back and forth at beats. <laughs> the one that will forever be in my head is, no, it was free! And she was drunk! She didn't know what she was doing! And it sounds like the worst thing ever until you remember that he's talking about a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite thing in that like whole like e-helmet bullshit is like uh for one Prylock giving giving <laughs> his to meet watts and me Watts saying he gave it to me because he said i'm dumb and i don't know no better uh, and also, also rest in peace steward croaker he was a legend <laughs> Too good but, for the sinful world. It's he he it, he is why I am very like careful about like I don't even eat sushi really, but that's why I'm careful about like sushi places, I guess. But I was gonna say something about You're getting like bullied by those harpies, my dude. Just I mean, it, it's, clock tower. The entire clock tower. It, it's clock tower. It's it's bully central there. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. like this My, chamber is very distinctly from Rondo Blood, if you ever play it. Yeah, the, the other thing I'm thinking of uh, regarding that fucking... The lines that live in my head from that fucking E-Helmet episode is... Uh, it takes whatever MP3 you put in it and it turns it into this song. <laughs> Incredible. Vandal Sword. Go right. Bob, like, what, what is your goal for this stream? How far are you planning to... I don't yeah, think we, he had a goal. No, I'm just playing like Castlevania, man. He's probably... I mean, like, the point, game... We, we, we put the a... game in rotation because I was sick and didn't want to, like, try to remember how to play um, my Metroid Fusion. You could just do this entire game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but it's, like, not a long game. You could probably beat it, You like... could wrap it up in two to three. Oh, yeah. that... I could, like... The reverse tower does not take as long. The reverse castle does not no take as long. I just as the noticed the. Uh, yeah. I just noticed the cross shape holes in the in the brick wall. I never noticed that before. That actually is pretty yeah, clever. Really cute. I kind of dig that. This yeah. game has so many tiny and also, touches. The fact that it's like oh, uh, if you were to go back to the Karasu, is that there? Did they change the translation of this Rashman. character's name later on? This I is the only other retranslation they did. Friend, if you yeah. mean another game, maybe. Yeah, I feel like they. Well, let me search <laughs> that. The Malfas, that's their name and other stuff. Okay, yeah, I thought they were. Malfas sounds familiar. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking up there. Uh, yeah. Crossing Man, then in uh, HOD, they were. Or Harmony Dissonance was Feather Demon. And then starting with. Um, Dawn of Sorrow, they started using Malfus, and then they've used uh, Malfus ever since. Hmm. Okay. Castlevania, Minuet of Dawn. Also, the thing is about all the holes being like cross shaped. It means they can just tile the that like brick wall over and over, and they don't have to worry about making new ones. I think I think little shortcuts like that are neat. Yep. Yeah. I always thought it was funny that they tried to standardize around the name Castlevania in Japan. That's similar. I mean, but they tried. Because here's the thing, like, Akubajo Dracula, but the thing is, Dracula wasn't always the bad guy, and you weren't always in Dracula's castle, like, as far back as, like, Rondo of Blood. I mean, you're not in Dracula's castle in Castlevania 2, which is why it's called Dracula 2 there. Dracula 2. Two Dracula. Draculas. You mean... Which is wait, not Simon's even Quest. as funny as... Yeah, they Dracula... Have... It was just called Dracula 2, Simon's Quest. Wait. Dracula. Oh my god, you're right! Well, actually, it's called Dracula 2 Seal of the Curse, but yeah. Yeah, basically. But I think my personal favorite of Konami's, like, we have made a sequel to a thing we didn't make, is still uh, King Kong 2 Ikari no Megaton Punch. <laughs> that is a fantastic name. Which is based off of the movie King Kong Lives, but Ikari no Megaton Punch is just an incredible I... subtitle. I have never heard of this. What? <laughs> it does. Oh, it can't unhappen. 
They shoved King Kong into Konami YY World. Oh yeah, that's right. Along with fucking Mikey from the Goonies, because they had made a Goonies game, so he was a Konami it, it character. Was, it was a tax write-off. They had to use all their assets. So many just weird things in YY World. I love that. You have to use every also card where Simon, King Kong. I think that's also where the non-canonical Simon Belmont the Third comes from. Simon Belmont the Third. Yeah, he's from YY World. Do you get a super jump in this game? I can't you do, know. and I'm kind of like, aiming for it now, actually. Yeah, you need it for one of the library secrets. <laughs> well, of course you need it for that. <laughs> What's the, like, command for the bat dash or whatever? Up to back to down to forward. Oh, it's just that? Okay. 270. So it's, so it's, wait, it's the, yeah, it is a 270, yeah. It, it's kind of easy to remember in my mind because it's like a wind up to forward. Yeah, to go, yeah. <laughs> God, I'm just thinking about Deuteronomy Canonical Belmonts now. This what stuff. was what was in that what was in that room with the painting? Like, there was do you a not boss fight there someone there? Yeah. Oh, did you already beat the boss there? Or was that not until it hurt Yeah, you do it on the first way through. Oh, uh, okay. Goggle Bob, make your make your selection of Deuteronomy Canonical Belmonts. What <laughs> exactly. Belmonts or Victor Belmont? Um, can I choose the one from Otoma Deus Excellent? That's Kokoro Belmont. Okay, very good. The other option was the Belmont from the cancelled uh, Castlevania on Dreamcast slash the one who does the opposite of his job in Lords of Shadow 2 by saving Dracula's life. <laughs> what about, um... What about, uh... Dracula. Wait. Dra say, rescue Dracula, you mean the Game Boy game? No. <laughs> no. I oh, the dream oh, this all happened in the canceled Dreamcast one? Okay. The canceled Dreamcast game was going to be Sonya Belmont teaming up mm -hmm. with her time-displaced ancestor, Victor Belmont. Right. But then Igarashi wasn't involved, so he was like, nah. And we're also going to reboot the whole... I mean, that game didn't Japan. come out as the bigger problem. Yeah. Uh... Oh, so... Igarashi did, did personally cancel it? No. He okay. didn't have the power to do that. Okay, I wasn't sure. <laughs> At the um, time, he would have been working on Elder. What about Diego. um? What about Captain N, Simon Belmont, in terms of extra canonical? I mean, that's just Simon Belmont, but shitty. <laughs> <laughs> and vain. I mean, that was part of being shitty. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like a defining back character flaw. He, he didn't really have like it's if you're composed entirely of flaws, does it really count? Yes. <laughs> but. Yeah, like, I, I prefer my extra canonical Belmont to be from a Konami verified source. <laughs> Understandable. Every 90s cartoon adaption is too embarrassing to be canon. That is, that is correct. Except for, uh, uh, to some extent, I think the Donkey Kong Country cartoon, um, it has its charm. Your reflection point. Story Every of night of a pirate is super canon. Everybody, they're all just too embarrassed to talk about it. Yeah. The mirror never lands. They, they better have in the in the actual like when they when Illumination makes a Donkey Kong movie, they better get Alan Tudyk to voice like King K. Rool, and he better sound just like the CG cartoon K. Rool. I know he could do that. I've seen I've seen Har the Harley Quinn show. For me, and I'm sick and stuff, so I'm bones. going to have uh, a good night. I also, hope you yeah, that's right. Uh, have a good night, all. All right, good it's night, me. Thing. Get well soon. We're gonna get the uh, high jump in your honor here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a pirate life of glory. The me will never learn. Yeah, I think I want to get all rocks here, and then I will call it a night. Cause then there's a really tight loop to get um, the 
what you need to access the reverse castle. And How have they never cleaned up the translation all rocks? <laughs> I mean, would they legally have to pay for it if they did? No, Count Orlock is from fucking Nosferatu. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Uh, I know Spot like was universal literally movie. like, oh shit, we don't have the rights to make a uh, Dracula movie because it's 1920s and uh, Bram Stoker's widow is still alive. Let's just change all the characters' names. Yeah, the very first, uh, yeah, the, the, the first portrayal is from like 1922, so. Yeah, odd film, not on stage, which I think the Universal movie was based on the stage play. So wait, All Rocks is 101 years old? <laughs> not like Zeratu, uh turned 100 this year. Now there's going to be a new remake um, by uh, Eggers. The principal photography la uh, wrapped uh, on the 19th. That's cool. Oh, hey, the most recent Mo Monsters reboot included in Orlock. Well, actually, oh, wait, this one is being distributed by Universal. That's right. I thought it was a Bloomhouse thing. Can this be a faintly recalled swinging tree to tree? Is it going to be? Okay, they didn't say it's gonna be in black and white, but if it ends up being that because um this is the same guy who directed the lighthouse, that would be that'd be cool, I think. We'll see. Yeah. This is like the one room in the game that accounts for the fact that the castle might be flipped over at some point. <laughs> There's a, few, there's a few it's that just, are like that, but... It's just icicles on the walls to remind the bats not to fly too high. There you go. Don't fly too close to the sun, motherfuckers. Also, technically, with that room with all the crosses, you know, when the castle gets diverted, they just become St. Peter's crosses. Holy of holy. That's stuck. Crap. <sighs> Stabbing thing. So what have you been playing other than Castlevania? Gagathan. Uh, like I said, recently, uh, Sambo de Amiga. <laughs> nice. Are they making the that translate deal? well? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I've been predominant. I played it once in, like, motion mode. And I will be perfectly honest, I... On my own, I do not have the patience for that kind of stuff anymore. Like, I used to enjoy, like, you know, the newest, weirdest controller that Nintendo could give me. But at this point, it's kind of like, I just kind of want to sit down with a Nintendo, or a, a Switch Classic controller and call it a day, thank you. So I've been Sounds predominantly like playing it in button mode, and it's fun in button mode, so that's what I can ask for. And it's got songs that I enjoy, and it's just kind of like, let's play a new rhythm game. Those aren't as plentiful as once they were. Yes, I was... I'm genuine... They had a sale recently on the... As I was mentioning in the chat, the Hatsune Miku, like, ridiculous games where it's like a puzzle finder or whatever. And I was genuinely thinking, could you just give me another, like, Miku rhythm game? Because those are fun. <laughs> I wonder who I would have to kill in order to find a way to get the uh, re-release of the Oendon games. Mm -hmm. I mean, speaking of, like, who would you have to kill, I, w I would destroy an entire village if we could get Guitar Man 2 with the same quality level as Guitar Man 1. I, I would be fine with just Guitar Man 1 getting to come back. <laughs> Being allowed to come back. But, like, I mean, like, that was, like, I feel like there was a very short window, starting with Parappa and ending with Guitar Man, that was, like, the playable, like, story-based rhythm game, that then Guitar Hero came and went, but Guitar Hero turned it all into, well, people just want to play songs they know, the end. 
Yeah. And like I said, even like Sambo the Amigo has to have like a certain number of like popular hits type of things. I mean, the old Sambo the Amigo did too. But true, but just, you know. The other thing is, okay, I'm coming back. What you're saying doesn't necessarily apply to Japan, I think, because, uh, or even like mobile rhythm games, a lot of them do still have uh, stories and stuff going on in them. But there, there's stories going on, and then there's, like, the lush, like, this is around Ridiculous the story. Ridiculous, and, like, composed for this fucking rock or rap opera. <laughs> yeah, like, you look at Um Jammer Lammy, and not only are there, like, original songs, but there are, like, the entire, so to speak, skits that are around them, that everything is focused on the song back so also speak. also like hi-fi rush if you play it in streamer mode like yeah off streamer mode they do have like licensed songs but they um but even the like but if you play through mode, the the like songs they replace it with are like relevant to the story and everything yeah but, but those are that's not like that's an action game with rhythm in it rather than a yeah you are kind of correct. A lot of the stuff that is like original so rhythm songs with story is like, because I think Wonder Song is kind of the same way. Um, Let's wrap for it. And I want to be clear that, like, like for instance, uh, Theater Rhythm that came out recently for, with the Final Fantasy stuff. Like, Final Bar Line. That is, yes, and that is an excellent rhythm game. Would it change a thing? And of course, the music in it is top notch because I love my Final Fantasy music. But like the battle stages are like stages you would see in a fighting game. The yeah. stages that exist in like Guitar Man or Parappa the Rapper, like it's basically a music video unto itself that yeah. is based on this thing. And I mean, I completely understand why we don't see it nowadays because it is basically. You are designed. It is. It's like a music video in that you're designing an entire universe. You're spending a shit ton of money for something to make something that to... cannot possibly last longer than an hour. Right, and it is also something that is like, like legitimately. I enjoy Guitar Man, and I listen to the soundtrack casually. There are a great many people that could hear the first song in Guitar Man and be like, "This isn't for me." And then there's no reason to play the entire game. <laughs> yeah. Hey, remember how the Kingdom Hearts with the game is canon to the rest of Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, I. You don't have to tell me you that. Are, <laughs> yeah, you are. You are talking to a very specific audience right now. <laughs> um, what was I going to say something about it? I still think about how much of a called shot it was in Guitar Man to call like the like that the key theme to the mu the key musical light motif the legendary theme. There's so many ways that you could that that could have been a mock a mock worthy statement, but no, it, it's a, it's a legendary track. <laughs> yeah, no, they 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 earned it. <laughs> yeah, my my sort of only complaint about uh, Guitar Man. Which, I mean, Guitar Man is... I listed it back in the day as one of my top five games that if I was introducing somebody to the concept of video games, it would be one of the games I would choose. It is easily, like, one of the tightest... Like, the game is like an hour, but it is like the tightest hour that you can have as a video game. <laughs> Like, it, it is basically album length. Like, it is basically And then you get to do the Sunbone Trio. Yes. Well, I, 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 I petitioned my local city to allow me to speed while... If, if I can prove that I am listening to the Sunbone Trio song while on my car radio. <laughs> they unfortunately have denied my request. Bop, 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 End up having to... Whenever I'm going back to it, I end up having to, like, on emulator, I have to play it on, like, the PSP version, because that one's been retimed for the sort of refresh rate that an LCD screen has. And the PSP version has two more songs, so hey. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a very good part. Yeah. No, it was definitely well worth it in existence. 
If they if they do remake the game, like they called it Guitar Man Lives, or was it Lives? Um, I think that was kind of a joke. Yeah, uh, but they should they should still say like if they if they put it on like Steam or Game Pass or whatever, they should call it Guitar Man Still Lives. I get it. Like the Ninja Warriors once again. <laughs> yeah. Which they end up standardizing to the bad name. Bad? I don't think it's a bad name. I think it's, I think it's nice. No, I'm saying they standardized it to the bad name, which was the Ninja Savior's Return of the Warriors. Oh, because I know they did the I know they did the once again thing for like another game. I don't remember which one it was now though. Ninja Warriors once again was the name in Japan, and then yeah, but... they ported it to Steam. They standardized every region to be Ninja Savior's Return of the Warriors. Okay, I remember. Uh, I have to look up Natsume Atari now because. I'm trying to remember, was it Pocky and Rocky once again also? Uh, I don't know what that was called in Japan, I just know it was uh, Pocky and Rocky reshrined here. I was gonna say reshrined, but we got it. Yeah. Kiki Kai Kai, something else. Yeah, I'm having to double check. Becky is still no longer on speaking terms. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was with Becky? <laughs> oh. They were with Becky once. <laughs> They aren't anymore. Yeah, I was about to say, she is not invited back. She actually stole, uh, she stole shit and <laughs> bolted into the night. Damn it, Becky. You ruined it for everyone. I mean, when you're hanging out with Tanuki, that really shouldn't be punished. <laughs> Rocky, Rocky is doing his best to, to, like, suppress his kleptomania. <laughs> Doing his best. Respect. Yeah, no. In this Japan, is, uh... they just call it. In Japan, they just call Reshrine Mystery the Black Cloak. <laughs> Need to get that. It looks good. It it was. You, how do I put this? I I think I saw this complaint recently with uh, Beat's new favorite hit. Uh, what was it? Um, you know the Jack Ryan radio game. <laughs> Oh, Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Yeah, Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. I've seen this complaint, and I haven't played Bomb Rush Cyberpunk, and I can't speak to it. But Cyber I can. Fun. My complaint <laughs> about uh, Pocky and Rocky Reshrined is that it is absolutely an amazing Pocky and Rocky game, but that's all it is, and it kind of ignores that we've had 20 years of games that had similar gameplay that did make improvements. Do we have 20 years of similar games to Pocky? Well, there, well I mean, was, uh, I can say... There's every twin stick game, technically. Yeah, I, I would... And also, mm. honestly, I, the reason I was hard on it when it came out was ultimately because I had recently done the DLC for Cuphead. And that is a very tight shooting game. And whereas there's definitely different stuff going on there, like... Pocky and Rocky Reshrine, just with the ability to hold a button to stand and shoot and pivot, would have been better. <laughs> and that didn't I like, I like the Cuphead well enough, but no, it's not. I mean, what, I mean did, the, did Reshrine have, like, Twin Stick or something, or...? I no. mean, Re Reshrine just played exactly like Super Nintendo Pocky and Rocky. Which, for uh, better or worse, like, there could have been improvements there, in my opinion. I, I personally would have added... Stink. I would have added Twin Stick. It's a distinct experience, and I think being unable to shoot in all directions makes uh, certain aspects of positioning more important. Yeah, no, there's definitely, I could see making the argument for it, but it is definitely, like I said, it is 100%. If this came out, like, a day after the previous P Pocky and Rocky, or as it did 20 years, it is still, like, the same thing there. I mean, I would also, I'm also the sort of person who, like, when people say Resident Evil 4, the original version needs to have, uh, needs to have, like, walk and shoot, like, it's archaic that it doesn't, that I, like, gag. Yes, so. although I, I, I understand, like, in a manner of speaking, they did change that for Remake, correct? Yeah, because Remake is a different game. Yeah, well, that's vaguely what I'm expecting of Pocky and Rocky Retry. Like, goals. This isn't Pocky and Rocky 2 re-release. This is a new game 20 years later. Pocky and Rocky without Becky. <laughs> That's what they should have called it, actually. Called it Pocky and Rocky without Becky. <laughs> <laughs> to 
just wow. The shade coming off of this game. <laughs> Uh, I'll probably try the Shadow of the Ninja remake, it looks neat. Yeah, and also to be clear what I'm saying is, Reshrined is definitely a good game, just I don't, I, like I said, I, after 20 years I thought it wasn't I the game you wanted. The formula. So I gotta say something about that. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, my, uh, my brain is just jumping like it rebooted and jumped back to, like, white-hot rage at how much FF16 sucks ass. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry you had to play that over the, the holiday weekend. <laughs> I'm sorry I you self-inflicted that on yourself. I, I have to finish it. I need to vanquish it. The morning sun must vanquish the terrible night. <laughs> I got to- I did the thing that people seem to consider the consensus best part of the game. And all I could think is that there are some very low mountains in this world. <laughs> uh, peaks, peaks do not need to be high. Uh, so did you ever play much, if any, of that? Of Final Fantasy 16? Yeah. I know no, I mean, I will be honest. I think I, on a previous stream, I mentioned I got far enough to like start palling around with Sid in the first place. And I just found absolutely nothing compelling about it. And I told oh, myself, gosh. I'll get back to this later, and still have yet to do that. <laughs> it's worse when you don't have Sid to pal around with. <laughs> Even though, like, that, that Sid, like... There's something cloying about him. Oh yeah, no, I I, I, by all accounts, he is 100% designed to be, like, the likable character. Like, he's so built to be, like... Oh, he's friendly. He's like if you had like a friendly, encouraging dad with you at all times. God. <laughs> like, oh, it's like there's nothing wrong with him per se, but he's just like there to like, uh, he agrees with you and he's not threatening and he's like charming. And it's like, uh, he needs to have more to him than just being like a guy who agrees with me. <laughs> That, that's a great idea, fanboy. I think you should look into further that. <laughs> what? Now, oh, fuck you. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. This is why you shouldn't agree with me. God damn you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I fought Titan. All the icons in that game are ugly as shit. God damn it. <laughs> the icons. Like, I think one of the things that, like, keeps bothering me every time I do one of those fights is that I have to look at how Ifrit looks in that game again. <laughs> and it's just like, I get that, like, you had, like, this design influence that you wanted to pull from Godzilla, but this Ifrit design is ugly as shit. It's awful looking. <laughs> Sorry, I just, just have to let that out <laughs> or I, okay. I, I let that out or I die. We're here for you to, <laughs> to quote-unquote discuss Final Fantasy XVI. <laughs> eventually, eventually it goes, it gets written down, placed on a website where it can be safely contained. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I know I will eventually play all the way through that game and I will write about it myself, but... Yeah, no, I'm just saying I've already written at least one essay about it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going up as soon as, like, I've finished the game and verified that nothing contradicts the feelings I already have. I forget what game I played. How, how far are you into it at, as of this point? About the two-thirds to three-quarters mark. I've... I've taken... Like, I, if I looked at the game completion percentage the PS5 gives, it would give me, like, 60-something. And... Uh... It has 10% off because there is a bug if you up, if you took your data from the demo into the final game that cuts off 10%. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, wait, wait, so, say that again. If you... If okay. you took your... if you So the PS5 has, like, a feature where it's supposed to, like, try to help you work out how much of the game you have left. That has, so it has, like, a game completion percentage on an OS level. The problem is that if you transfer your save from the demo of FF16 to the final game, it 
doesn't account for the missing percentage points. And it so you're still always like 10% off. Yeah. You're always so, like shorted 10%. So what so what does it what does it tell you right now? Currently it says like 60%. So you're 70% of the Okay, I get it. Yeah. Alucard, is that you? It sucks. I'm it's bad. <laughs> no, hey, it's nightmare. Alucard, yep. Figure out I'll, I'll close Look, out the night with the nightmare here. It's all right. Yeah, that's a good place. If my yeah. death can save others, I gladly surrender my life. Lisa, sometimes known as Mom Lucard. Just stay with me. Alucard you remembers as her me. as Assel. Yes, mother. <laughs> Humans, you cannot live with them. Oh my God, that should be his middle name. <laughs> Alucard Assel. Alucard Assel. <laughs> Release them from their pain. Begin with the ones who killed me. No. I like yeah. how they do this, like, the background of just the random What's people, wrong? like, kind of black and white, standing around watching someone being, mean? like, crucified. Do as I say. Yeah, this, this, this is a literal crucifixion, as they were known for in the Middle Ages. <laughs> yeah, but there's, like, a kid at the far left of this, what like... Kind of demon are you? <laughs> Strong enough to break my but I do like how they just kind of make them like background details. You deserve yeah. worse than death. What kind of demon this? are you? <laughs> then give it to me, little boy. Don't be shy. They suck you, but it's real fucked up. You showed up as someone's mom. <laughs> The funny thing is, is definitely the first time I fought her, and many other times I have fought her. I, I'm so strong at this point, she goes down like six hits, so I'm kind of like deliberately holding back. Just so that you can like show what her attack pattern actually is. <laughs> and she still goes down pretty quick. Darkling. Yeah, it's like a game, I love this game. <laughs> Darkling, I smell your blood. <laughs> Strength. <laughs> but beauty. You really are the son the fuck was that accent? <laughs> Death in the dream world was wandering for no. It was kind of simulating the original Wait. PlayStation uh, <laughs> voice acting. Like an incredibly inaccurate simulation, but a simulation <laughs> nonetheless. Alright, so we'll, we're going to save here for the night. We'll pick it up with basically transitioning to the other castle next week, and I might be able to knock off the entire game in one night. I believe in you! Alright, so for now, good night, everybody. Good night. We will resume yeah, even man. worse streams, hopefully when Beat is feeling better. <laughs> and happy three-year anniversary! Be more. <laughs> Dreadful three-year anniversary. <laughs> We're only gonna be even worse. Even worse. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> See? It's working on Genie. Good night, everybody. <laughs>